and welcome to One Stop Co-op Shop. It's Steve, I'm here with Kim. Hello. And we are back with another live play of Street Masters. So this is one that I think we're playing, probably Pandemic Legacy, I don't know, some other game, or something that came up that was requested to play another game, Street Masters, and I love this game, so yes, let's do it. Now, this game was recommended on our Discord, I believe by Varega. He suggested a setup. And this setup is one of those that I, I'm playing with a fighter. I don't quite understand how to play him strategically. And so, like, if you guys are watching, I can use all the help you can get. <laughs> okay. That's right. All right. Enough preamble. Let's look at the board. Okay. Right. So here we are in the world of Street Masters. We are playing the triage map today. And we're playing against Onyx. The, I guess they're... Kind of mercenaries or something like that. <clears throat> so let's talk through let's talk through what the map's about first, and then we'll introduce our characters, and then we'll just start playing. Okay. So the triage is right here. It says, uh, in one of the safe havens that aftershock survivors find shelter from the assault on civilization. Fighters must prevent the enemy from arming explosives while also healing the injured survivors and keeping morale up. It's a tough balance to strike, and you'll need surgical precision to survive. Okay, so, like I said, in this game, we are trying to stop the big bad guy from basically blowing up a hospital. Okay, <laughs> so, good to know. We're the, we're the good guys here, for sure. <clears throat> okay, and then uh, we'll talk through what that means exactly. So, here's the setup. Basically, it says here that uh, the all the objectives are going to go onto the boss card. And so you can see up here in the corner, I've actually already put all the objectives on top of him. And I'll show you what he does in a little bit. And then we have a couple other cards to look at. So let's look at those cards real quick. So we have these two cards. Uh, the Immediate Care and the Injured Survivors. So Immediate Care it says a fighter on a prescription space uh, can heal one damage for each space they don't move during the move step. That's going to be super useful, especially because, honestly, the character I'm playing as, he uh, doesn't have much healing, and he takes a lot of damage. So I might might desperately desperately need that. Okay, so um, that's every, what, the, the pill spots? So every pill spot, yes. Okay. So you have to go to a pill spot, and then basically, I think how I understand it is, because you get three movement on your turn, if you choose not to use any of those three movement, you heal three, which is awesome. Okay. But if you like heal, if you move one, they get heal two, so on and so forth. It's, it's the difference of of how far you you don't heal, or you sorry, you don't move is the difference of that. And the other card is injured survivors. So this one is basically how we lose the game. Um, <clears throat> so specifically here, uh, it says to place damage on it. So this we have we have twenty health on this card, and we need to put six damage on it to start the game. And basically, it says that. Anytime um, this card is defeated, we lose the game. So basically, we need to make, keep track of the health of this card. And if it drops to zero, we, we lose. Okay. So also, um, activate. If this card has no damage on it, it deals each enemy two general damage. Then each unengaged enemy deals this card one damage. And so there is going to be some opportunities for this card to even help us, which is awesome. So yeah, that is, that's what we're up to now. Um, all right, so that is the stage cards. Let's look at a few of the other things we have to do here. Okay, let's look at Mac real quick to show you what we're up against. So here is Mac, our big bad guy in this case. He starts with 25 or 50 health as we're playing two-player game. Four fight dice is each time a fighter shuffles their discard pile to make a new deck, he attacks that fighter, dealing plus two direct damage. So this guy's kind of interesting. He wants to deck us. And then he does a bunch of stuff when he activates. We won't bother it right now. Just, yeah. But yeah, he's going to be trying to get rid of all the cards in our decks. About the whole board. Okay. Cool. So that is the enemy and our stage. Heroes. Um, heroes. Yes. Let's look at heroes. So Kim, this was requested by Vrega, wants to play as Murphy. So Murphy is a handyman, basically. So I thought it'd be pretty fun. I chose the hospital because you know what? What is a like a or a gen gender, I guess. What's a gender gonna be like in like the hospital, right? Triage, yeah. right? Makes sense. 
So if you notice on his card, he doesn't have any power to flip. That's because he doesn't flip unless he takes damage. So every damage you take, you can then choose to flip into this Hulk-like monster. So this is basically the Hulk. <laughs> so in this, in this version of the game. And when you flip, uh, you can do a bunch of stuff with it. And also when you flip, Kim has to look at the top card of her deck. And actually, let's just show you that card too. So there's a reference card that goes with him because he is not the straight, most straightforward guy. So he has two forms, uh, and basically, whenever he takes damage, he can flip. Also, when he flips, you have to... Actually, it says on this side here. Yeah. If you're flipping, you must reveal the top card of your deck and resolve the shift card of that, of that card. So it could be good or bad, honestly. And then also, while Kim's playing it, some cards say, hey, human effect. Other cards say transformed effect. So there's two effects on each card, and depending on what state she's in, she'll do one effect versus the other. So yeah. It's pretty fun. Okay. Yeah. And this guy totally looks like the Street Fighter green guy, whatever that guy's name oh, is. Oh, Blanca? Yeah. Is that his name? Yeah. Did I get that right? Yeah. Yay, video totally game cred. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, yes. So that's what Kim's doing. And then I am playing a different character. I'm playing as Shadow. So this guy's all about illusions. And so I've got these extra tokens, these uh, Shadow Illusion tokens. And I'm going to be placing these on the board as like, uh, what do you call it? Distractions, kind of like Mysterio type effect or, I don't know, apparitions, I guess. I don't know. And so basically what I'm going to be doing is I'll be, uh, all these shadow cards or shadow illusions have one health. And they can't gain, gain defense tokens. And when they're defeated, shadow, that's the fighter I'm playing, is takes one direct damage. So this is where I said that he's never good at healing because he's going to put all these illusions all around the board and we they get destroyed which they only have one health um i'll take one direct damage but yeah so i'll be like swapping places with them repairing other places and just basically controlling this army of illusions basically so that is what i'm up to i'll need your help with that one <laughs> this is gonna be a bit tricky to figure out okay i think that's enough preamble we're not going to explain how the game works but if you guys have any questions while you're watching it let us know and we will do our best to answer those questions also if you have tips on how to play this better, <laughs> we could definitely use those. Okay. So, <clears throat> first things first, we have to, oh yeah, choose your starting spot. Oh yeah, Kim has two miniatures as well for hers. Should I start yes. next to you? Yeah, because actually I have um, an action as Murphy the janitor Oh. that can help you. Oh, okay. I can, I'll take all the help I can get. And then we're going to draw four cards and then we can mulligan from our deck. Oh, did, did I shuffle? Should I shuffle these? No, I should shuffle them for you, but you can shuffle if you want. Uh, shuffle again. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. I'm going to... You said four? Yep, draw four cards, and then you can discard a couple of them and draw a couple more if you like. <clears throat> and then we are also playing as Hacker Mode, which is my favorite way of playing this game. That's basically where the enemy deck is fully upgraded, and our decks are fully upgraded as well. So it just means there's a lot more power being thrown around the board. Okay. So you steved it. I st well, <laughs> yes, I steved it, but I steved it for both, both sides. sides. So it's not as bad. Right? Okay. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, okay. <laughs> okay, so I am... Whoa, I'm really happy with my hand because I got two epic uh, tactics out of the gate. Okay. So so generally, uh, one tip in this, if you want, you want to look for the tactics cards... And because I'm playing hyper mode, you want to find the yellow tactics cards. So mm -hmm. if you want to, if Kim, you want to discard any of the non tactics and try to find your tactics, that's generally a good idea, but you don't have to. So, okay. Cool. Let's start the madness. And thanks for who, who's joining, watching. Let us know if you have questions. Feel free to help us out. We need all the help we can get. Okay. So, what is this doing now? Oh, so Kim is asking about my my uh, reference cards. So these these decks are more complex than others. So they have, if you know, notice in corner reference, they're just for you to read in case you oh, want to know I how saw to play. The, I saw the heart and thought you had like bonus life or something. No, I wish I had bonus life. <laughs> okay. So no, actually, we both start with fifteen life, um, so not much. And our boss starts with fifty, so I put that on the on the screen for us. And also, the bottom token is the fourteen hearts. That is the health of the, the survivors that we're trying to keep. So that 14 health, 
ever goes to zero, we uh, lose the game. Would it, wouldn't that be a 20? It would be a 20, but if you read the, the card, it says when it enters play, put three times player damage on it. So we put six damage on it to start the game. So it doesn't start at full health. Oh. So that's that's the catch. Okay. That's the catch. Catches I should read. Alrighty. Um, <laughs> you may want me to go first. Uh, we go simultaneously. But oh, first, yeah. before we do anything, we have to do the threat phase. So we each get a card. Kim wants to go first, so you get the first card. You get a Lisa Salt. So she comes to play with three punches and two fight. And yeah, there she okay. goes. She's yellow. And I'm going to get a red Abolo? Abolo? You know, uh, I can't pronounce words. things. Words are hard. All the time. <laughs> so... When this enemy enters play, it gains three random defense tokens. Okay, so what that means, I need to grab some of these dice, and I'm going to roll them. And that's the defense tokens he's going to get. So I'm going to get uh, two kicks and a grab, please, for my guy. Okay. Where do you want him? Uh, he needs to go to the entry spot closest to us. Yeah, right there is a good spot. Okay. Cool. All right. Well, so my Murphy human side, I can, um, as an action, give each of us two random defense tokens, and then one of us can draw a card. That's pretty nice. Because we are close enough to each other. Um, I will definitely... So each of us gets three defense tokens? Two. Oh, two. That's pretty two. awesome. But you don't attack with it, so that's the downside, right? Because he's so so Murphy, because he's the janitor form, he doesn't attack, he just gives defense. I'm still helping. Just, mm, <laughs> don't worry, I won't be attacking much either. <laughs> My funny shadows I, out takes, there. I gotta build up a little bit, gosh. <laughs> so while Kim's yeah. thinking, um, I am pretty happy with some of the stuff I have. I am going to... I want to play one of these cards here for my hand. This is his, I'm going to do my card step. This is my tactic, and you see up here is yellow. It's the upgraded form. It's my Lightsbane. Uh, so it says, I can block attacks targeting illusions and choose to let any effect targeting illusion target you instead. So basically it means that if they're going to target my one health illusions, I can say, hey, you know what? I'll take it. Trying to keep those illusions alive if possible because, like I said, they do die. They I take one direct damage. Okay, and I'm going to play down this tactic, gaining control, just to prepare. Ooh, interesting. Well, that's got a cool effect, because look, the green screen kind of sees through it. That's kind of cool. I'm you're sorry. Just, I'm so distracted. You're just weird. <laughs> um, so I'm going to have that in my player area, but I am going to do um, the action of my card over here. So you and each fighter... Oh, okay, well, let me look at this so everyone knows what's going on here. So this one lets me move illusions. I gain defense tokens, basically. This one, your transformer attacks do plus one punch damage. That's mm -hmm. cool. Now, if you start your turn on human side, choose a fighter, draw a card, move up to two spaces. That is really cool. Yeah, see? Preparation, Steve. Your <laughs> game control. Your preparation. Yeah. Okay. All right, so um, I will do this action. Um, so both you and I get two random defense tokens. Okay. You want to roll that up and uh, see what we get? Uh, double kicks. Okay. I do have a space up here if you want to roll here. People can probably see that. So do I roll it? Did we both get double tick kicks? Yep, or, we will, right. Yeah, we both get double go. kicks. Um, and then I have a move left. So I did a card, I did an action. Um, I will move... Um, where are the... Remind me. Remind me <laughs> Wait, where, where, do I, where do I want to go? I mean, I can go fight him right now if I really wanted to. You could. I mean, you can't get close to him, though. He's kind of far away. But you could head his direction. Because you're going to move three spaces. That's the kick. Trigger. Yeah. Now, what he's going to do is I should, I should show you what he does on the stage card here. Um, so if there's ever five objective tokens on the map, the fighters lose. So he's trying to blow it up. Also, basically, if the if there's enough damage on the injured survivors, we lose too. So we got to manage both those. Now, when he moves into objective space, he drops off the objective token. Those are the explosives. When he moves into one of the spaces. He moves into it, yes. We can interact, which means one of our actions, we could place two damage on the injured survivors. So basically, we hurt people. But we can move an objective token in your space to the boss card. So, okay. so we run to the, the explosive. 
you kind of like, I don't know, <laughs> shove a survivor onto the ground, they take a couple of damage, and you take the bomb and get okay. rid of it. And he's going to move three spaces towards the nearest objective space without an objective token every turn. So he's going to start going that way. Uh, Yes, I think that's the nearest one. Yes. Yeah. So I think I'm going to I'm gonna go one, two, three. You can move through me, too, if you wanted, if that mattered to you. Through you? No, you can't stop on my spot, because we're friendly. And we're playing simultaneously, mm -hmm. so I can move as well. I'm tempted to go and get that crate. Crates are pretty good. Um, yeah, you wait for these guys to come towards us, is what you're thinking? Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to go this way. Okay. That's fine. Um, I think I'm going to stay near you because of your ability. So I'm going to go one, two, three. I'm going to head this direction as well. And then my card is... I'll show you what my special ability is. Um... I get to choose one illusion and swap places with it and then attack with one die. I get plus one critical to the results when I do that. Um, then I can place one illusion in an empty space within five spaces of me and gain one defense token of my choice for each enemy engaged with that illusion. So what I can do now, now here's what I'm curious if you guys are watching, what I should do here. I think I want to use my action to drop an illusion. Now I can drop it within five squares. So one, two, three, four, five. So basically this line, this whole area is where I can drop an illusion down. It's a pretty big area. Now I can go ahead and drop it next to the enemy, which means I'll gain defense, but also she's going to attack that enemy. Mm -hmm. And she attacks with two dice. Um, so maybe that's okay, but I can also choose to take to block the damage instead of my illusion blocking it. I think that's what I want to do. I don't know. The other thought is I can put it someplace away from her, and then I can... It will draw both the guys to that spot, right? They're going to go towards the nearest fighter. Now, the fi this counts as a fighter, too, yeah. right? So they're going to want to attack them if they can. So it's it's a distraction, right? So I can lay down there, go after that guy, or I can put it away and build up an army of them, and kind of how this guy can work, and I think how he maybe works, I'm not sure, is you build up an army of illusions, and you kind of have them all swarm on an enemy. That sounds cool. So do you want put, so let me know in the chat or if Kim you have an idea here if I should put it next to the enemy get a defense and try to block it all or if I should put it away and try to build up a little bit because I could block it I don't know I try to build up a couple guys I think I think you have time right I could oh the other thing I could do too and I look at my cards a little more this card does have an exhaust effect which means I could tap it to do it and it says move up to two illusions three spaces each. Then gain one defense token from each enemy engaged with an illusion. So what I could do, I can drop an illusion down right mm -hmm. next to her. I could exhaust, move the illusion away, come back, and then take another defense from her. Wait, she doesn't have any defense. Oh, yeah, she does. She got three. Three punch. Punch. So. Which I so maybe, I, actually, I think I'll do that. Because I think with only two dice and I'll have four defense, I'll, I'll risk it. So let's do that. I'll drop it there. <laughs> if you guys think have other ideas, let me know. But I'll, I'll drop it there, I'll gain one punch defense token, I'll move away, move back, and in my turn there, and I'll take another defense token from her. Oh, from her? Yeah, from her. So, well, actually, yeah, that's smart. Yeah, so now she only has one defense on her card. Um, I don't get to attack her by doing that, though, but it's okay. First turn, right? Okay. That is it for our turns. We need to activate our enemies. So, Kim, why don't you read what uh, the yellow Felicia Salt does? Activate each fighter within two spaces of this enemy. Activate each fighter? Yes. Attack. Oh, gosh. Attack. Like, what? How does she activate <laughs> fighters? Uh, attack Mind control. Each fighter. Yes. <laughs> um, each target of this attack discards one card from their deck for damage, for each damage they suffer. Okay. So she's going to attack with two dice. So roll two dice. Hopefully, you don't roll any um, grapples. Sweet! Can a punch. I will choose to block it, because I have one of each of those, thanks to Kim's help. Okay, then she advances three space towards the nearest fighter. Which she's already near the nearest yeah. fighter, I think. Yeah. Yeah, so she attacks within two spaces, then runs up even closer if she can. Cool. Okay, so that's all she does. That was. I'm pretty happy with choosing to go there. Let me know what you guys think. That was good. Okay, so, now do you do a bolo? Okay, our red dude, a bolo. Uh, advance three spaces towards the nearest fighter. So he's going to go one, two, probably here, three. 
And then attack. Gaining each defense token spent to block damage from this attack. If unengaged, gain one random defense token. So he's going to get a defense as he's running closer. So he's it's building up. Okay. That is it for our threat phase. It is up to the boss time. So let's look at the boss more closely. Okay, here we go. Here's Mac. Uh, so remember, when we shuffle our discard pile, he's going to attack us. So he's going to try and mill us at some point. He's going to attack each fighter and engage with him. Nobody. There's nobody. And gains three random defense tokens. Which he's going to do. Two kicks and a grapple. Okay. And then Mac deals each fighter not engaged with him two general damage. Each fighter dealt damage this way discards two cards from their deck. Okay, so I think what that means is we just have to block the two damage coming at us. Okay. So I actually have two defense. I will do so. Block it. And the nice thing about that is I do... I do... Flip into my super powered form, which is now pretty cool because at the start of my turn, I can either place one illusion in an empty space, which is anywhere on the board, which is awesome, or swap uh, spaces with an illusion. So that's because uh, on my card, four charges, which I just blocked four damage, and I'm, I'm super sane full form. Okay. Okay, I, I could choose to flip over to the transform side. Yeah, you could. Generally, I don't think I want to yet. Yeah, generally you want to do that when enemies are nearby because he hulks out and he basically. So I will just block twice. <laughs> okay. Just ignoring your. You just ignoring me. <laughs> what? Do I embarrass you? Uh huh. Yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm good. You're good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Doesn't um. Move. It says, each should... fighter dealt damage this way discards two cards. So we don't discard any cards. So yeah. that's it for him. He doesn't move or anything? Nope, does not move. Now we go into stage deck. Oh, we forgot to draw cards at the end of our turns. So oh, okay. Really quick. Okay, so he's going to activate move three spaces towards the nearest objective without an objective token, which I think is this one. Yes, we established One, that. two, three. So not quite there yet. Okay. Um, immediate care. Each fighter may move up to three damage from injured survivors to their character card. So, does somebody want to optionally take damage? Now, Kim, you might want to do this, maybe. Because when you flip, you also heal, I believe. Yeah, but I know when I flip, I also hulk out, like you just <laughs> Yeah, no, but like you could potentially take on the damage and heal. Potentially, it's up to you. Um, um, I'm pretty sure you heal a lot when you flip. Maybe not. Number of power. Then flip this card. That's when I attack with oh, the action. Oh, that's when you attack. Okay, yeah, so, so you can so wait if you want. I'm going to wait. Okay. So we can choose to take on damage if you want. Uh, that's how that's how we can heal the survivors. Right now they're at 14 health, so we've got... And they, they can wait. Yeah. They're fine. Speaking of which... Just a scratch. They activate. If this card has no damage on it, we, so we basically ignore it. But basically, if there's no damage on it, they would deal damage to all the enemies in play. Okay, that is it for that. We will draw our event card and see what happens on a stage card. We have Quell Resistance. For every five damage on injured survivors, which there is six of them on there, the boss moves one space towards the nearest objective space without an objective token. Wah, 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 Okay, wah. so he gets here. Yep, he does make he's it to... going to drop... Looks like the uh, orange one? The red one. Red, red one. one. Yep. So he dropped the red one on the board. And it says if the boss does not move this way, they deal injured survivors three more damage. Okay, so that's basically all that happens there. Okay. Cool. That was our first round. I know you guys, so you guys watching, let us know if you have any thoughts. All right. How well, we're doing? You want to make fun of us? Well, that's a slow, <laughs> slow start. We're going to be fine. Well, we have to build up, honestly. Mm -hmm. So, okay. So next turn, we each get a threat card. So, Kim, your threat card is going to be a Veronica Pepper, and mine's going to be a... Black Hearted Mercy. Oh boy, that doesn't sound nice. So she has two kick and two grapple, four health, four attack. Oh my goodness. Okay. And this tactic is going to stay in next to Mac. It says each fighter must discard one card from their deck, but each copy of the discard card in the fighter's discard pile, Mac does the fighter one general damage. Then if Mac has no defense tokens, he attacks any one fighter. Interesting. And you could discard three cards from your deck to discard this card. 
So we can do that as an action. We don't have to do next turn or anything. We just choose to dump three cards, which may be worth it, actually. Okay. Okay. She has two kicks and two grackles. Let's see. Okay, so I... Oh, I'm going to start my turn. I get to put a shadow token down. Hmm. Uh, oh, wait. She doesn't go over there. She should go over here. This is the closest spot. No, it's not. I counted it. Oh, you sure? Wow, okay. I'm not sure. Now you're making me question my existence. <laughs> it's, it, it's fine. It's it, fine. It is. Okay. I'm going to count again real quick. That's Take it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, they're the same. Okay, so we can choose. Mm -hmm. um, I get to put a shadow token down someplace. I think I'm going to put it down. Yeah, I'm going to put it down. <laughs> what? Wait, 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 Three, times. yeah, I'll put it down next to this guy. There we go. I can do that because I'm in super saiyan mode. Do you want to move? Because gaining control at the start of my turn, I'm on my human side, so okay. I can choose a fighter to draw a card and move up to two spaces. I don't need to move as much as you do because okay. I can swap with okay. my Okay, I'm going to play that on myself. So I'm going to choose myself to draw a card. Okay. And I'm going to move two spaces, one two i'll come back towards you okay you get a loot card your loot card is some brass knuckles perfect that seems extra good with a hulk like that's right <laughs> creature right there um so while you're doing think about that i want to play my card i'm going to play this where darkness lies so this is my other improved tactic upgraded one so i'm really excited i got both of my starting hand um i get exhaust but it lets me move in illusion force basis or exhaust it for each illusion attack with two dice, doing general damage. I gain defense tokens that they used to block it. So that's what I'm excited about because I just put that other um, shadow next to this guy. So I can maybe gang up on people with my shadow tokens, which would be really, really fun. That's my card step. Okay, I'm going to play Murphy Crush tactic. <clears throat> so this is Kim's tactic. To start of your turn, if you're on your human side, choose a fighter to gain a power. That's... Wait, choose a fighter? That's cool. And then you get plus one grapple damage with your attacks. And you got some other stuff you can do. Cool. Okay. okay. That's my card. I still have my move and my action. Yeah. I have my move and my action so, too. So <coughs> I'm going to go. I can move through you. Yeah. Yeah, you can move through me. One, two, three. Okay. And you are still within range of my Murphy action, keeping cool. Okay. So we each get two random defense tokens. Thank you. I have no defense tokens. Just... Kick and a punch. Perfect. Thank you. And do you want to draw a card? Um, I am pretty happy. All right, I'll draw a card. You can draw a card. Do I have a hand size limit? There's no hand limit in this game. Okay, I will just keep on drawing. Yep. Okay. So... Kim did draw a uh, tactic, and some of the tactics have faint abilities, which means when they're in play, you can discard them from play to do that effect. Yep. Let's see, so okay, so I I would like to get next to someone, but I can't. I'm not that fast, so I think what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to do my move action. I'm going to move up here, get this uh, this loot. Let's see what we get. I get pepper spray. At any time, you discard this card to discard one card to figure within two spaces of you controls. Oh, I can get rid of that tactic pretty yes, easily. Yes, do it. I have to be within two spaces of him. Of the bad guy? Yeah. Yeah, do it. <laughs> I'm not within two spaces! But yes, I can do that later. So, okay. Now... No what? I'm trying to think of, Oh, I think I should take on Felicia's Salt. Okay. I think. Are you going to do try, your, try your, to take her out as much as I can? Your shadow thingy, my Bob? Yeah, I might do yeah. the shadow thingy, my Bob. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do is do this this card. I'm going to exhaust it, have each illusion attack with two dice dealing general damage, and I gain any defense blocked from it. That's cool. So let's do that. Here you go. So I get to roll just two dice. One and a defense, which I'll take a grapple defense. So I only did one damage. 
Which, <laughs> they both did one damage, though, so that's okay. I, at least I got... So that's a grapple from the bin and her grapple. Yes, a grapple from the bin and her defense token she had, right? Which was a grapple. Which was a punch. She had a punch. Yes, yes. yes. But she does take one damage, so she has four hit points left. Okay. So I didn't take her out, unfortunately, but... Do your shadow tokens go away? No. Oh. They only go away when they take damage. They have one health. Um... So that wasn't was hoping to do. I might just do. She has four left. Okay, I do have this card. Okay, I think I'm gonna do this card. I'm gonna exhaust. Oh no! You know what? Maybe I don't have to. No 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 no. Okay, here I'm gonna do this this action here. Let's do my super saiyan ability. The only problem is I attack as well. Unfortunately, I'm not next to anybody, which is the downside. I'm kind of out in the middle, but. I do attack with these guys, and I think it's going to be worth it. Okay. So I'm going to attack as my action, and I deal general damage. I'm going to gain def any defense block, which won't matter. So we're all going to attack. So let's attack with this shadow to the her. Here we go. Actually, I think she rolls separately for each of these attacks, technically. I'll do that for now on. Okay. Oh, nice. That's crit. Roll again. Ah, oh, you didn't okay. kill her. So I gain a grapple, if you don't mind. She does have she's one. Four. There's only two hits on her, so she's got. Oh, she's got two. She's got two hits left, and I'll have the other one attack her as well. There we go. Two more hits. And now she's dead. Took her out. And every time you take out a, a person, you get to draw a loot card. And where should I put this? I get cash. So I get to discard this to stop an, an uh, bad guy from activating. Um, yeah, keep it over here for us. Okay. So that was my action. And then because after you do your Super Saiyan move, you do flip the card over. So now you're back. Now I'm back, yep. Okay. Last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to exhaust this card to move to my illusions. So I'm going to move here and here. And then I am going to gain a defense token from each enemy engaged with an illusion. You want one of each? A kick and a grapple, or? Yeah, uh, no, only from each enemy. Oh wait, oh. it's only one. I'll only get one of these, it's okay. I'll get one from uh, the Bolo guy. Okay, that is all I can do. Okay. So, I feel pretty happy about that. At least I took out a bad guy. Well, I know, you're, you're doing well. I'm just, I'm just slowly building my rage, <laughs> I guess, internally. Murphy's... Murphy's just sweeping the floors and just waiting for the right moment. <laughs> just, just do my job. That's right. I got paid enough for this. Keep cleaning it up after you guys. That's right. There's like a body over there. Oh, I gotta go clean this up, I guess. That's so. right. <laughs> okay, so now we activate our bad guys. Okay, so Veronica, who is at the top of the board, will advance three spaces towards the nearest fighter and okay. attack each fighter that is engaged. Nope, she does not. Um, so then nothing else happens. Okay, and this guy, he wants to advance three spaces towards the nearest fighter, which is already next to an attack, gaining each defense token spent to block damage from this attack. Um, okay, so yeah, it's gonna attack one of my shadows. So let's roll three dice and see what they are. He rolls two grabs, grapples and a punch, and luckily I've got all those tokens, so I'll block them all and turn them all into power. So that's good. I can choose because of my special tactic I get to block for my shadows. Okay. That is it. We get to draw cards. And then bad guy turn. Okay, so Onyx, he wants to attack each fighter and engage them. Then he gains three random defense tokens. He's just gonna get so much defense. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so he has one of each grapple kick and punch. Okay, and then, um, yeah, nothing else happens there. Oh, black card of mercy. I forgot about that card. Oh, you should do that. Uh, discard. Yeah, you have to discard three cards from your deck to get rid of it. So we kind of done that last time. Each fighter must discard one card from their deck for each copy of it. Yeah, so we each discard a card from our deck. For each copy of what? You stop talking. Well, discard a card from your deck. Okay. First. <laughs> 
and it's flip the top one. Yep, flip the top one over, and it says, "No, <laughs> it's a good, it's a really good, it's tag. a really good card for her, unfortunately." It says, um, uh, "Each fighter discard one card from the deck. For each copy of the discard card in the player's discard pile, Mac deals that fighter one general damage." So if you have that in your in your hand. So for have... each copy of the discard pile in a player's discard pile. Oh, no, no, no. You look at copies of them in the discard oh, pile. Oh, okay. So, so we have no yeah. copies. Yeah. So you're good. Okay, that's all he does. Then we go into stage. So now stage, he's going to move towards the nearest objective, which I think is this one. Yeah. So one, two, three, like that. Okay. And then here we go for the triage event card. We have Evacuate. The fighters must either deal injured survivors five damage or attach this card to it. The attached card cannot deal damage. The next time it would, discard this card instead. What? The attached card. Oh, interesting. So if at any point we fully heal the survivors, they won't deal damage to all the enemies on the board. Instead, we just discard this card and then keep okay. going. Which, honestly, I think that's probably the better choice than dealing with five damage to them. Probably, right so, now. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. That's it for us. We can ready our stuff. And we'll take our next turns. So, okay. your card, Kim, is going to be a blue Veronica Pepper. My card is going to be a, oh my god, suppressing fire. Each fighter discards the top card of their deck. Mac deals each fighter two direct damage for each copy of the discarded card in their hand. Okay. So I have... I don't have the card I discarded, so I'm okay. Do I have to do that? Yep. <sighs> Man, another... Only if you have a copy in your hand. So it okay, looks I like we, we both missed that, so that's good. Can I have the Veronica card, please? You may. You may. Okay, and then she comes to play with two kicks and two grapples. So I think, let us know in the chat what you guys are thinking here. So I'm thinking. Um, I'm starting my turn. I'm on human side, so a fighter can gain one power. I'm going to gain a power, which I just take from here like this. Yep, you just take any power. Okay. <laughs> um, and then also I choose a fighter to draw a card and move two spaces. Do you want to move two spaces? If you did, I can get rid of his Black Heart and Mercy. From my okay, spray. go ahead. You can do that. You can draw a card and move two. Ooh, sweet. Thank you. I'll move a little bit closer. And then what I'll do now I'm close to him, I'll discard this Pepper Spray. And that gets rid of his Tactic card. It's Black Heart and Mercy. Cool. Yay, teamwork! <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, okay. I'm tempted just to run into the fray. You want to run into the fray? Yes. Where do you want to go? I feel like I would go right here. Next to next to the big bad. Yeah. Yeah. You can. <laughs> he will attack you, but I mean, you you do have Hulk smashy ability. Yeah, if I get hit, then I'll flip over and those two guys would be in trouble, right? Uh, maybe. 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 So the problem is with your deck is all her cards have a shift ability on all of them. And so you don't know what it is because the top part of her deck could be anything. So <laughs> some of them are good, some of them not so good. It just kind of varies. But it, it's kind of fun because, you know, you're Hulk, right? Or a Hulk type of character. Um, now... I think of how I can do this. Um, well, I can move here, and I could play Losing Grip, which would discard a defense token from every enemy within three spaces of me, and then I Whoa. can attack with two dice. So I'd throw two dice at him. That's pretty good. You you attack with your uh, your broomstick. Yes. <laughs> okay, you can do that. <laughs> um. Yeah, so far we haven't taken any damage yet. Actually, no damage has been dealt to the boss or us, or even the inju injured survivors. So, I think I'll do that. 
I mean, three spaces are pretty good because you do hit all. I'll all hit of all of them. Yeah. yeah. And if he hits me, he hits me. So I'm gonna do my move to there. Okay. Then I play my losing grip card. Okay. As a human. Okay. So this is the card she's playing. Discard one defense token of your choice from each enemy. Okay. So you get to pick and choose. I don't think it matters a whole lot for me. I do do more kicking though, so maybe kick. But oh, it's not this run. I shoot this this one and this guy. And the boss man. And the boss man. Um, yeah. Rid of all his punches. Good idea. Okay. Um. So I'm gonna attack with two, but I'm gonna use my brass knuckles to add two dice. Uh, brass knuckles are for punching. That's a gripping is a. Oh, a I didn't attack. see that. Yeah. Okay. Well. Next time. I should have then taken some grapples away. Nah, whatever. <laughs> so I have one hit and a defense. So I take a grapple. And you attacked boss man, huh? I so boss you just take a grapple man. away from him. Took this away. <coughs> yep. Okay. So that was your move and card step. You still have an action though, I don't do you? I do still have an action. Um which would be my Murphy action, keeping cool. So again, within three spaces, you get two random defense tokens. Okay. A uh, punch and a kick. Thank you. I'll take both those. <clears throat> and then one of us can draw a card. Um, I don't know if I need a card. Okay, because I want it. <laughs> kick. Punch. Kick. Punch, and I'm this is actually turn. working better than I thought. I was actually really worried about this, but because Kim's giving me so many defense tokens, I'm able to block for those shadow tokens a lot better. So I I was expecting it to take a lot more damage. I think you are talking way too soon. Like you're you're jinxing us well, right now. This is a turning point in the game. <laughs> well, I'm just saying that by this time I probably would have been dead. Because the problem is when I play shadow, most of the time I'm playing solo and I play true solo a lot. And he's really hard to play true solo because he doesn't have a good lot of healing options and it's hard to build up. But Murphy is pairing pretty well. So, Rega, good choice in this one. <laughs> okay. That's all I can do. That's all I can do. That's fine. I might attack you. No, it's okay. Don't hit me in the back. Don't hit you in the back. Um, what are you doing? I'm trying to figure out which enemy to attack. Because right now I have an action, so I can swap. I might use this ability right now, so I can swap with uh, another illusion. So I can appear almost anywhere right now. I'm thinking about appearing down here and attacking, well, any of them. I, I do get plus one critical to the result, which is pretty nice. Um, who do we want to take out? Actually, before I do that, what if I... No, no, no. Say that. Yeah. Okay, so I'll, I'll do that. I'll swap places here. And then I'm going to attack... Um, I think I'm going to attack this Veronica here. Okay. See if I can't take her out. So I roll one die, but I also get a critical no matter what. And so this is going to be a kick attack. So the critical gives me another dice automatically. So let's roll those extra dice. Nice, get another critical. Critical. Okay, I did three kick damage to her. Um, and she has two kick defense, so she'll take one wound. Okay, I gained some more defense, which is good. And then, yeah, so she has five health left. And then I can place an illusion in an empty space within five spaces of me. So I'll put this illusion here, I think. Is the boss here going to fight that illusion? Yeah, he's probably going to fight someone. Or maybe multiple of them. Um, and then I gain one defense token of my choice for each enemy engaged with that illusion. So can I have three grapple tokens, please? Out of the box? Yeah, this is out of the box. You have a lot of defense. Yeah. I think I'm playing, I think I'm doing okay now. All right. <clears throat> That's why I don't mind getting in the fray. So now I'm going to use the my Word Doctor's Lives to have each illusion attack with two dice. So let's do that. 
So the first one, let's try attack that Veronica person. So here you go, general damage. Uh, looks like I did. Uh, so what's this one? So she's going to take one more damage. So she's down to four left. Um, I should have done that differently. Oh, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm stupid because I've got this illusion up here that's not doing anything. Let me do this first. Let's move him down here. <laughs> so at least he can do something. All right. Do I have to put that health back or is she still going to take this hit? She's going to take the hit. I'm just okay. moving that one. Um, I am going to take a defense token from the boss man, though. That's good. And from this guy as well. Okay. And then that new illusion is going to attack the boss. Nice. So I get another die. So it looks like three hits. What type of damage? It's general, so he's going to block it if he can. So he now is just defenseless. That's good. I get a defense for after all that. And then my other illusion here is going to attack this guy. Architect the boss, actually. Hit the boss. Oh, hit the boss. Hit the boss. <laughs> here we go. Uh, only one more hit. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's one. <laughs> so it's something. And I think, so did my action, did my card. No, I didn't do a card step. I can play a card now. What are you doing? I am going to do this card. Shade Strike. You or an illusion attack with three dice. Actually, you know what? Let's not do that one. Let's do the improved version of it. You and an illusion both ah. attack with three dice. <laughs> After these attacks, I may place one illusion in an empty space adjacent to the target, which unfortunately, I only have three illusions max, so I can't put another illusion down, but at least I get attacked. So You're attacking with six dice, essentially. So essentially, yeah. I'll do three of them to Veronica Pepper. Okay. So let's do that one first and see if I can take her out. So here we go. Looks like I got three hits plus another one. Just hit one more. Yes. Four hits. She's done. Cool. Took her out. And the loot we get is a riot shield. Oh, the riot shield. I love this card. This card, this card, when you would suffer damage, cancel that damage and deal three direct damage to an enemy engaged with me. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, attack the boss. Yes, I will attack the boss. Or attack this guy. No, attack the, he's defenseless. <laughs> attack him. That's true, attack I the almost, boss. I, you know, I thought you know you should attack the whole gambit there, but anyway. Boom, two crits. Right. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Uh, looks like four hits. And I get one, two, three. That is punch defense tokens. You get three more punch defense. Good, okay. Good turn, Steve. Yeah. So he's so down. He's oh. down five. Use your fancy counter thing. Use my fancy counter thing. <laughs> yeah. Boom. Oh wait, that's not it. Wait. <laughs> Boom. Can. Down Let's five. Go. Down five. So he's at forty-five. So that was a good turn, Steve. I am happy with that, and we don't. We haven't taken any damage yet. I've got so much defense. You do. That's good. I feel like I could just go run away and just stay kind of <laughs> close to you to give you some cards. Need some. Yeah. I need some moral support though too. Yeah. Um, I do have a. I might play this card. I might play my cash card to stop that red guy from activating. So I think I'll do that. Okay. Okay. What this this red guy or that red guy? This sorry this one. So he won't attack us okay. this turn. Okay. So now your Veronica Pepper is going to do something. Advance three spaces. Okay. One, two, three. And not close enough to attack. That's it. Cool. Draw cards. Man, I'm feeling pretty good, guys. So far. Knock on wood. <laughs> yeah. So. Okay. Bad guy turn. I like how he is literally surrounded by everything. <laughs> That's right. We're not afraid of you. There, there is only one spot that doesn't have a fighter next to him. That's right. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. Uh, it says he attacks each fighter engaged with him. So he's going to attack both of us with four attack. Okay. So let's roll four dice and see what he attacks us with. So here we go. He attacks us with two kicks, a punch, and a grapple. So I'm going to block one, two. I'm going to block it all, and now I'm in my super mode. Three. I think I'm going to take 
a damage and flip over. <gasps> Hulk smash! I, I think. I gotta read to make it. sure this is. Take a damage. Do it. I'm gonna turn to the transform side. Boom. If what I do, you? I must discard all of your power and deal one general damage to an enemy engage with you for each power discarded. Oh, so, you can only have 10 power though, just so you know. Yeah, I know, but okay. I have six. What? What? Yeah. That's why I took <laughs> Nice, nice. So I'm going to hit him with six general damage. Wow. Down to 39. There you go. Oh yeah, if you want, I can keep track of it on the screen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it for both. Okay, okay, that's fine. Okay, I think we're doing okay. I say that as I we're probably gonna lose. Now you do have to do your shift ability, so you need to do you discard the top card of your deck, or you just reveal it. Hold um, on, hold on. What do I do? So, um, the top card here, right here, it says if you are flipping, you must reveal the top card of your deck, resolve the shift effect, and shuffle it back into your deck. Okay. So the top card shift is each enemy within three spacers suffers one direct damage. That is amazing because that's damaging all Every, the enemies. Everybody. A general damage. Well, direct, you said. Yeah, direct. So it goes me. through all their defenses and everything. Yes. Sweet. <laughs> he gets one more. Love Monica it. Monica gets one. All right. That was probably one of the best shifts. Boom. Okay. Blanca, engaged. Oh, you gotta finish it up. You gotta <laughs> replace do? your miniature. Oh, I. F yeah. <laughs> You're not no longer running around with a uh, broomstick. Whoop. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And that was still on the bad guy's turn. I just reacted to his turn. Correct. Now, the bad thing about doing that, though, is, uh, um, well, he's gonna gain three random defense tokens after this attack. Um, I hurt him a lot. That's not bad. <laughs> Oh, wait. Yeah, he's going to grab three defense tokens. So. That's fine. All right, so he's going to get uh, two kicks and a punch. Totally fine. And then it says here uh, that he then deals each fighter not engaged with him two general... Oh, wait, I think we screwed that up last time. I read that as... We did it right the first round. The second round, I screwed it up. Well, we're engaged with him, so we're that doesn't affect us. It doesn't us. affect us now, yeah. Last turn, we should have taken a little more damage, but that's okay. Okay. My bad. Sorry, guys. I'll try to catch it next time. And if you guys watching have any, you see any mistakes I'm making, feel free to let us know. Okay. Okay, so he's done. Now he's going to move three spaces towards the nearest objective token. So he is he's going to make it. Drop that. Make it to that spot. And we go onto the spot and do what to get rid of that thing again? You, we can go onto the spot and interact with it. Yeah, interact with it. Okay. Yep. Because I think if we can just keep him down here and flippity flop back for and forth. That's not bad because I that way I don't move my uh yeah. illusion all over the place. Yeah, I think if we can kind of keep him down there. That's a good idea. Let me know in the chat what you guys think of that strategy. Okay. And then we need to do the rest of the stuff. So each fighter may move up to three damage from injured survivors to their character card. Um I don't really heal, but I know you can if you want. Um though I could go stand on this spot. Because I don't need to necessarily attack. I can just attack on my min my minions. So maybe, yeah, maybe oh. I'll take the damage. Okay. But, I mean, we're going to need to, again, be able to go back and forth. He's going to start would you, running oh, up there. Would you rather have me deal? I think, I think you need to... One of us has to stand on this. And I am... I'm within range. How, yeah, but you need to be adjacent to attack him. I yeah. can attack my illusions. So how about yeah. I go stand on the uh, explosives? Okay. So I'll, I'll do that. So I will... Do I still want to take the damage? I think I will. I'll still take the damage. So that's going to be nice because it's going to heal three of the damage off. I have a question. <clears throat> yes. What's your question? There, are, The shift stuff doesn't... That's only if I do this. Never mind. <clears throat> Wait, did you not... Oh, yeah, you didn't do any attacks yet. I didn't do any attacks. But these shift things, it's only the shift of the card that I revealed. Correct. So that they don't matter when they're out here. Yeah, Kim's okay. question is because she has cards in play with the shift effect, you only do the shift effect of the top card of your deck. Okay. It's just a random ability. Because you're not in control of yourselves. Okay, I think we are, are done with activating. Oh, almost. Got to do the event card. Quell resistance. For every five damage on injured survivors, I'm so glad I just healed it because it only has three damage on it. Boss moves one space. 
the boss does not move this way, they deal the injured survivors three damage. No. So much for healing them, I guess. <laughs> <It's> okay. <laughs> so, right. one, two, three. And back down to 14. But at least he doesn't move. Okay. All right, so now it's our turn. Now is our turn. And Kim, your card is going to be a purple Obolo. And my card is going to be a green Felicia Salt. Okay. They're coming out to play. Do you want, I mean, one's going to go here and one's going to go there. Do you want which one where? I don't think I'm at a whole lot for, for us. So just make take a guess. Yeah, we'll just put it down. Okay. Oh, cool. And to start my turn, I get to put a shadow token down, which I already have another. Oh, I can swap. I can swap space, some spots with a shadow token. I don't know if it makes a difference. Yeah, I don't think it makes a difference. So what do you guys think in the chat? I mean, Kim's here in Hulk form. I'm here. Got the illusions out. We're doing okay. Um, I did take some damage. But I think, should I go over here and, and take care of the explosives while maybe Kim goes and smacks Mr. Bad Guy? Yeah. Or if you want, I could send my some of the shadows over there and take away his defense and have you um, smack him after his defenses are down. That would be good. I mean, my <coughs> monster attack, um, I want to be swarmed, honestly. because You want to be swarmed? I want to be swarmed because this... Targets each enemy engaged with me with three dice. Mm. So I need to get my illusions away from you. So that, or away from, I, somehow I need to get so the bad guys go towards you and not towards my stuff. Yeah, I have, um, I have cards I can play instead. So what I'm thinking I'm thinking about moving this shadow down here with my exhaust ability. And then I can take a defense token from all three of those guys. So that is going to be that. Um, I need a defense token from this guy. I'll take a kick. Oh, wait, do you do punch attacks? Yeah, you do punch I attacks. Do I'll take a punch attacks. from that guy. And then this other person who just spawned, the green one, I guess I could take one of those punches as well. Okay. Okay, so I get to take some defense from them. I think I will, yeah, I'm going to have my illusions attack now. Let's do that. So they're all going to attack with two dice. Let's have the boss attack the boss guy first. Here we go. Look at that crit. Okay, so I'm going to get all his defense off him with that attack. Second attack, I'll have this person attack the green green lady here. It's only two. So I get those defense tokens instead. And then the red guy, attack him. He does not have any defense tokens. And so he's going to take two more damage. He's down to five health left. And I've got a ton of defense right now. Okay. I've not done any cards or any movement or <laughs> anything else. I think what I'm gonna do, because we talked about it, I'm gonna move. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, yeah, even. I will move one, two, three here, and I'll use my action to pick up that explosives and give it back to the boss. Because it says here when you do interact, I put two damage on the injured survivors. So that's the bad thing about doing this. The survivors are gonna take more damage. So they do drop a little bit. Um, but I get the, the mom back to the boss, and then I have a card I can play. Do you have anything you want to do? I'm thinking, um, I think I'm going to go attack him anyway, <coughs> because I'll flip again soon. Okay. Um, so the card I'll play is, well, I mean, I could go here and take out both of these. You could. I mean, he's going to come back that direction because I just got rid of that bomb. Well, actually, this and this are the same distance away. Um, yeah. So where would he go? Do we decide? or? Well, actually, he would go over here because I'm standing on that spot. But I can get off that spot on my turn. 
that's still the same distance. So do we decide where he then goes? Then we decide or? he goes. Yep. Okay. If it's a, if a tie. Yep. Um. Yeah, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to faint this Murphy cards, or Murphy crush card, okay. to choose a fighter to gain three power, and I'm going to choose myself. Good choice. Um, Build up that strength again. And as the card, I'm going to just play this card, which is the upgraded version of that card. I'll show everyone what you played. This is the card Kim's playing. So, as you said, upgraded. The much better one. Each fighter gains one power, as opposed to choosing a fighter, so that's yes. awesome. So that was my card play, and I'm going to move... I should hit him. He doesn't have any defense. Go hit him. All right. I'll move here. And then I'm going to do my attack with the Vandalize on the Transform Murphy. So three dice. Okay. And this is a punch attack. Yes, this is a punch. With um, two extra dice. I'm using brass knuckles. Ooh. So five dice. Nice. All right. I got a crit. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Oh, here's, 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 here's. Oh. There you go. I got five hits and two defense, two punch defense. Five hits. That's just five damage straight to him. Five straight damage. Woo! Nice job, Cam. Oops. Okay, so then I have to discard any number of power to heal one damage left. for each power discarded. Then I flip the card. I only have one damage. I'm not going to heal. Why won't you heal? Because I want more super thingies to hit harder. That's only one. Okay, okay, fine. <laughs> if, it, if it comes down to just one next turn well i mean you can take damage off the the injured survivors that's all they say so it's fine it's fine oh i can take i can heal them with this or, I, or if yeah I because you can take remember every time we go through the stage effect you can optionally choose to take damage from the survivors you can take up to three from them oh okay fine i'll heal one and then i have more to take yeah because that's the because not only do we have to keep the bombs off the board we also have to keep the uh, survivors healed as well. All right, so then flip the cards. So you now... did heal them one. Oops. Right. One there. Back to the janitor. Oh, so I healed them, not myself. Correct. Okay. You healed yourself, but you did. You did heal. Oh no, you didn't heal them yet. No, I didn't heal them. I'm That's sorry. why I was waiting. Okay. Get all discombobulated. There's only a few things going on at a time. So. All right, so that was an action. <laughs> all right, that's all I can do on this turn. Well, I got one more thing I could do. I'm going to do another... Oh, actually, we want him to come back this way, don't we? We do. You have to get off that space. Okay, so I, I, I have to play this card. One with the dark. <laughs> this is my shadow thing going on. <laughs> Kim's just shaking her head at me right now. <laughs> For each illusion, choose one to resolve. So I'm going to choose to... Uh, let's see. I need to get off that space. So I'm going to swap spaces with this one and then I'm going to oh I can't do that because then I can't move it I have to swap with over here no I can't I can't no matter what I do I can't move this like oh no no I have to uh, what do you say I'm so what are you doing so the thing is I can swap spots with an illusion yeah so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to figure out I thought I can make this work with this card but maybe I can't because if I swap there's no way, because I chose that illusion, I can't move it again. That's unfortunate. I'll just chase him down. That's okay, fine. yeah, you have to chase him down. I guess I'll deal with the minions with my shadows. Okay. So, so in that case, I'm not going to play that card. Instead, I'm going to play this card. My Shade Strike. I'm going to have the illusion attack with three dice. Because he's next to the boss man with no defense. And then I can discard power to place an illusion, which I don't have. So, three punch attack. Here we go. That is horrible. Wow. <laughs> Absolutely horrible. So you have so much defense. I have so much defense. There's a huge st stack of defense <laughs> in front of me. <laughs> it's like a giant tower. Let me see if I can show you guys real quick. So this tower is my punch defense right now. <laughs> so... And he has about half of those in kicks and then half of those in grapples. You are just 
You're fine. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna be doing okay. Okay, so that is all I can do. We need to activate our enemies. Um okay. So let's do Okay, the yours. red Veronica. Yep. Advance three spaces, so she'll be here. Yep. Um and attack each fighter. Okay, that's gonna be you. Okay, she's, she's gonna attack, gonna with, attack four with four dice. Four dice. Wow. Yeah. So three punches and a grapple. So I'm blocking three punches and the grapple I will take and become enraged. Whoa! Hulk out! <laughs> Okay, so should I finish her card before I do my enraged stuff? Or? Um, yeah, I should finish her card. Okay, so each target of this attack discards one card from their deck for each damage suffered. Discard so, one. discard one. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna okay. flip over. Hulk mode. You gotta replace okay. your mini. I, I do. Just hold on. Too much. <laughs> too much going on. on. Okay, so then I do the, the shift on this card. Yep. Each figure within three spaces suffers one general damage. Well, guess I'm locking for my guys. <laughs> within how many spaces? Three. So, so everybody. So one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. So not us three, but okay. everyone else takes everybody damage. Else. Yeah. So I am going to choose to take to block off of my shadows. You cows. can afford to do that. And it's general damage, you said? General damage. So, so. your Veronica's going to block one of them, and the boss man's going to take another damage. So, yeah, that's actually not too bad. Yeah, he'll take one. And uh, does so... she'll take one? Or did you already pull this? Oh, I did not. She is going to take one. Valicia, the green Valicia is going to take one. Okay. Okay. That's all for the red Veronica. Okay, and then you do your purple. What was he here? will... Oh, I didn't give him three random defense tokens when he entered. Okay. Hold on, he gets three kicks. Okay. Um, he'll move three spaces. Okay, advance, so it's me right here next to me. Okay. And, and he's gonna attack with three dice, I assume. Then attack. Okay. Gaining each defense token spent to block damage from this attack. Uh, I might just do this. I should ride shield. So I don't want him gaining defense tokens. Okay. So I'll stop all the damage, and then he takes three direct damage. Oh wait, do three direct to an enemy? Yeah, yeah. He'll take three direct damage. Okay. Good. He's down to five. And then that's all your guys. This Abolo is going to do the same thing. He's going to attack me for three. Gaining the defense tokens. So he's he is going to gain some defense tokens. So it looks like he attacks me with one of everything. Only if you block it. Otherwise he wouldn't get the defense. Yeah, I only have 15 health. Oh, okay. <laughs> so. All right. That's yeah. fine. So he'll take the defense tokens, um, unfortunately. And then this green Veronica is going to attack each fighter within two spaces. Uh-oh. So it's going to attack both these guys. And me. And you, yes. So here's their attack. Uh, punch and a kick. Um, I didn't finish. Hold on. Hold Did on, you not finish on. something? I didn't finish my... My thing. Um, I didn't discard all my power tokens to deal one general damage to each enemy engaged with me for the power discarding. Oh my goodness. So hold on. I'm going to discard <laughs> these five. So Bossman's going to take five more damage. He's going to take five. And this Veronica will take, what did I say, general damage? Yeah, she will block and take two. Okay. Okay. So it doesn't change anything, but I just had to finish that. Okay. <laughs> and then I interrupted that Veronica stuff. So what the, is she the, doing? The, she's done, because I blocked all the damage. So she's okay. done. Okay, so then we can draw cards. But doesn't she attack me too? No. Oh, yeah, she attacks you. Yeah. Um... Yeah, two dice. Yeah, it was a punch and a kick. Punch and a kick. All right, so I'm gonna take block one and take a damage. So Kim, you're at you still have fourteen. Your health's gone up and down. I forgot to move it. Yeah. So, okay. Okay. So. Well, 
You blocked for one of those shadows. I blocked both of them. Oh, okay. Yeah, I had, luckily I have a lot of defense, so I was able to block them both. Yes, you did. Everything. So I'll probably be my superpowered state for a while now. Mm -hmm. But good news is, boss man is down to twenty-seven. He's kind of he's getting close to half health. Progress. I'm kind of happy with that. Okay, speaking of which, boss man's time turn. He is going to attack each fighter and engage with him. Okay. So he's going to attack you with four dice. You want me to roll for you? Go ahead. Okay, here we go. Looks like uh, three kicks and a punch. I have no defense, so I'm going to take it all. Okay. So I'm down five. <laughs> You're down five? Yeah, I just had I had one. Now one plus four is five. Oh, yeah. So, you, okay, down to ten health is what it is. Got it. And then isn't your shadow going to get attacked? N um, Is each fighter? Yes, each fighter. You're correct. My shadow is going to get attacked by that same thing. So I need to block that, which I will. Oh, my gosh. What are you going to do with all those powers? I am not never going to flip back. As much as <laughs> never never going to be calm. <laughs> okay. Then he's going to deal each fighter not engage with him to general damage. Each fighter dealt damage this way discards two cards from the deck. So he's going to deal us, oh me, two, two general damage. You're going to block and yes. you're not going to discard cards. Correct. Okay. Okay. Okay, so that's all Let's him. Out of the way. Yes, we can move the dice out of the way. Thank you. Now he, he's going to move three species towards the nearest token. So one, two, three, up there a little bit. And, oh, wait, he didn't grab the three defense tokens after he, he attacked. He should have done that. So he has one of everything. Okay, no problem. And now, each fighter may move up to three damage from the injured survivors to their character card. Are they okay? I mean, how many do they have? They're at 12 health. They're doing okay. Um, we can't let them die, right? Can't let them die, okay. yeah. I think, I think leave it for now till we heal. I think I'm going to try healing next turn. Myself. I um I can take one. <clears throat> I'm down to nine. It's up to you. I don't know how good you're at healing, so. I have to. I faint a lot of cards. <laughs> you need to. I'm tempted to just try to go for the kill, honestly, because he only has three defense. I'm gonna chase him down, and yeah, I'm not gonna take it because yeah. I need to survive. Let's see. Let's see if we can end this game. Because if I can get my illusions over there quickly. We'll, we'll see what happens. Okay. So that's what he does. Um, that is it. There's nothing else going on. So we'll draw a event card. It is Quell Resistance again. For every five damage on it, which is just one, the boss moves one space. So he's going to move one space towards that objective. No. I wanted him to be closer. <clears throat> okay. All right. That's it. Okay. When do we draw our card? Start of a turn. Draw the card. We will do these cards. So your card is going to be a tactic and another tactic. So he gets two tactics. Each time a minion is defeated before any fighter effect resolves, Matt gains three random defense tokens. Oh, <laughs> jeez. That's all right. Uh, for each enemy in play, one fighter must discard one card from the deck. Wow. Okay. So that, that could be bad. So this is sense of Well, it depends. It depends. And then while engaged with Mac, one fighter may discard four cards from their deck to discard this card. Otherwise, he's going to... If he's engaged, he gains one defense token from each fighter. He deals each fighter engaged with them two direct damage. Otherwise, he deals each fighter one direct damage and forces them to discard one card. Okay, so he's just going. He's just coming at us now. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So... When do I draw this? Did I already draw that? I'm... My card? You should have drawn it at the end of the I think I did. Turn. Yeah. Okay. So I'm trying to figure out how I can get over there. He is kind of far away is the problem. And how, I'm sorry, how do I get rid of this thing again? Stand on it and what? Stand on and just put an action. If you prefer me to do that, I can go do that. I'm not. Yeah, because I can keep chasing him. I I'm tempted to just let him drop the stuff off, honestly, and then we just chase him down. Because right now he only has three defense. Well, he does have. He's still over half health. Well, that's what I'm saying. I can chase him and then 
attack him while I'm super strong. Yeah, and anyone on chat, let's, let us know what you're thinking on that. If you guys have any thoughts. Um, let me zoom in over here to see a little bit more what's going on. Uh, what? I forgot these two <laughs> tactic abilities on all my attacks. You get extra... extra I had stuff. extra punch and extra grapple damage. <laughs> wow. I could have done a lot more. Okay, that's okay. I won't forget now. <laughs> yeah. Shit. I'm going to go attack him just because... <laughs> well, you can get there. It's one, two, three. Yeah, I can get yeah right I'm going to go time. get him. So, so yeah. stand, stand me next to that. You're going to run up there now? Yeah. Move up? Hulk smash. Um... I don't like that I don't have any defense, but it is what it is. <laughs> I'm going to... Mm -hmm. Well, while you think about that, do you want me to... I can't quite move up to three spaces each. One, two, three. One. I can't get... He's too far away from me to get to him. Well, kind of. I can. I could eventually swap sp spots and get there. Oh, okay. What I could do, Kim, as I do have this card in my hand. Shattered Self. Uh, this is one of my other tactics, my third one. The action is pretty interesting. Place one illusion in a space within six spaces of you. Then, for each illusion in play... Choose one fighter to draw one card or gain two defense tokens of their choice. So I can give you, because I have three illusions to play, I can give you six defense. I would like that. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm not, not going to be as effective this turn, but I think giving you tons of defense is going to be totally worth it. So I'm going to play that card, and then as my action, I'm going to choose you to gain six defense. You can pick what it is. Okay, he's going to attack me. Well, it doesn't matter. First, to spread the wealth around. And while you're I thinking about that, appreciate that very much. I'm going to move this illusion up to here, and then I'm going to gain one diva token from each enemy engaged with an illusion. So let's gain some defense. Um, I'm next to a lot of guys, but not not the, no, they don't have any defense tokens, which is probably okay. Okay, so now I'm going to do my Darkness Lies. For each illusion attacks, attack with two red dice, doing general damage. Okay, here we go. So, let's attack this Veronica with two red dice. Uh, one damage to her. Okay. And then I'll attack this Felicia. Two more damage on her. Um... And then I am going to attack this Ebola guy here. Nice. Excellent. So again, those, and I deal one more damage to him. So he has four hits left. Okay. Okay. So I can either play a Morning Meds tactic to have a extra kick damage while I attack this big guy, which I'm tempted to do. Do that. Or, <laughs> or I can play a toxic relationship ability, and since I'm transformed, I would um, play the shift powers twice, and um, of everything in play. Of everything in play. I I would do your your uh, save kicks. that yeah. save that. Okay, so I'm gonna play this tactic card. Okay. Um, if you want to just show that, you can. This is her tactic card. So she's, what she's talking about, she gets plus one kick damage every time she attacks, which and is I'm awesome. And I'm going to have to remember. And you get <laughs> more defense every turn. That's what yes. you need. Yes, You're right. It's perfect. Yeah. All right. Um, now, my last thing I'm going to do is attack with my um, vandalized Murphy attack. Okay. So attacking with three dice. Okay. Unfortunately, <laughs> there's only one enemy engaged with me. I could have done a lot more. Sorry. Um, but three dice, but I'm doing a punch, a grapple, and a kick damage on top of that. So that's going to so get rid of all his tokens. all his defense. Yep. And my three dice. Here we go. Wow. 
I hit him once. <laughs> and I got two defense, two punch defense. There's two punch defense. You got it? I got it. Okay. And so just, got just one, one damage on one him? One damage. Well, something. Okay, so then okay. I can discard any number of power to heal one damage for each power. Discard, then discard, and then flip the card. So I'm going to discard the one that I have. Okay. So I'll be healing one, so now I only have four damage. Okay. And I'm going to go back to my janitor side. Cool. Oh, you know what? I don't have my health correctly shown on the screen. I'm sorry, guys. I'm... Let me fix that for you. I do have three damage. I'm actually at 12. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So, I still have an action left. I'm going to do my super attack, which lets me and all my illusions attack with two dice. Uh, it's general damage. So, let's do that one more time. Um, I have to get rid of four. You have plenty. <laughs> four power. I know. So much power. All right. Here we go. First attack. Let me... Let's have this shadow attack this guy because I want to see if I can take him out. There's two. So he still has two health left. I will attack him myself. Oh no. No, he didn't take him out. He's got he's just hanging on. He's got one health left. You have a lot of defense. You're fine. I know, but I want to take him out because it's annoying. Okay. This one I'll attack for two. There you go, took her out. And she is going to give me some loot. Adrenaline shot. Ooh, can do another action. Sweet. Oh, kill that other guy. Um, maybe. I Oh. I cheated. I did my action. I already did my action this turn. Oh, so she's not dead. So no, that's no, fine. Well, I'll just play that card immediately. Because this is my extra action. I, I cheated. I forgot because I gave you the defense token. I just oh. forgot to mark on my board. I'm okay. sorry. Cheater! Cheater, I know. That's all right. That's all right. And then let's have this one attack. There we go. Two damage on her. Who's that? Yep, and that takes her oh, out. Oh, she is dead. Okay. I got lead pipe, which... Yeah, I'll use the lead pipe to take out the red Volo guy. Three direct damage. <clears throat> so he is gone, too. You're doing well, Steve. Flashbang! Sweet! Okay, and then I am going to do my move action, and I'm going to move up here to the medicine so I can heal. Okay, I'm really happy about that. Oh, we didn't take her out. No, she... Oh, yeah. Yep. Took out lots of guys in that one. So I kind of cheated, sorry. <laughs> so... You spent your loot. Early. It's fine. Okay, now you have to activate your purple guy. Okay, advance three spaces towards the nearest <coughs> fighter. Which is this one. And then attack. Right here. Okay, he's going to attack. He gains the defense token spent to block the damage. So go ahead and attack with three dice. Um, You know what I'm going to do? What? I'm, gonna, I'm just going to have that shadow die. Okay. So because he only has one health, so that way he won't gain the defense. But I'm going to take a direct damage, but you know what? That's fine, because I'm on the health thing anyway, so I'm going to heal. So I'm, okay. I'm fine with it. Sounds good. <clears throat> okay. And then we draw our cards. Gaining more control. Okay. Bad guy stuff. Big bad, right? Big bad, yep. So he is going to attack each fire and engage with him with four dice. That's right. And he's going to gain three random defense tokens after that. Okay, what is it? Uh, two punches and two kicks. Two punches, two kicks. I am blocked. <laughs> and then he's going to gain some defense after that. He's going to gain all three grapples. Okay. Do I want to switch back over? I'm thinking about this. You want to suffer one of those damage? Yeah, if I, if I take a hit... Depends if you want to heal, rest and heal, and heal human form for a little bit, or if you want to Hulk out again and smack him. I kind of want to Hulk out again. Okay. So I'm going to take one of those, so I'm back to five. Well, do I? Do I? 
Hold on, let me see what's in my hand. Okay, okay. Because I can still hit him as as the Murphy janitor guy. Yeah, you can with your broomstick. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Okay. I'm gonna hang out for a minute. <laughs> okay. And then each unengaged fighter. I take two general damage, so I will block it. Um, and then it says, okay, now Heroes is taking aim. While engaged with Mac, one fighter may discard four cards from the deck to discard this card. Oh, you could actually have done that if you wanted to discard four cards from your deck. Um, Otherwise, he's going to attack us a bunch more. Okay, I'll do that. Okay. One, two, three, four. And then this one, each time a minion is defeated oh. before any fire. Oh no! I forgot, he gains a bunch of defense tokens. We can't screw that up. <laughs> Again? What? Because I killed three minions? Yeah. Okay. He's going to gain a bunch of defense. I'm sorry. Two grapple and a kick. Two grapple and a kick. This isn't changing the, any, any outcomes though. Because I didn't, I didn't attack him. Two grapples and a kick. Again? Well, technically, that's true because I we could have I could resolve my attacks before, or my attacks after your attacks, which I think we did. So yeah, that's true. And then he's gonna get one more, um, a grapple, a kick, and a punch. He's got a lot of grapples. <laughs> For each enemy in play, one fighter must discard one card from their deck. I will do so because you've been discarding tons of yeah, cards. Yeah, I. For I'm... each enemy, there's only one enemy in play, so. Yeah. No, that's my good card. But we do... Something happens when we have to reshuffle our decks, right? When we reshuffle decks, he attacks us. Okay. Yep. It's not terrible. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm looking at your stacked <laughs> player over here. Yeah. It's insane. Okay. So, our turn? Or do they have more to do? No. Now we have to do the stage. Um, he's going to move here and drop off the green one. Get back here. I'm just going to chase him. <laughs> and then each fighter may move up to three damage from the injured survivors to the character card. I don't think we want to do that. And then if there's no damage, there's no, that's fine. Okay. okay. Here we go. Quell resistance again. Wow, there's a lot of these in the deck. Uh, for every five damage, which is only one, he's going to move one space towards the nearest one, which is even further away. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Yeah, you're okay. there, I guess. That's good. I can still reach him. Okay. That is it for us. I get to put a shadow token at the start of my turn. Oh, good. Anywhere on the board. Okay, Kim, your card is going to be into the crosshairs, and I'm going to get a police assault. Attach this card to your fighter character card. After you shuffle your discard pile to make a new draw deck, discard this card. Each time you use an action on your fighter the character card, you must discard one card from your deck for each defense token you have. Wow. You may not have more than four cards in your hand. Discard down to four if you ever have more. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. No, this is bad. Yeah, okay, that's not wait. good. And I get a, one of these purple. After you shuffle. <clears throat> wait a second. Oh, you're at it. At, at, yeah, I took care of that. Okay, cool. So, yeah. So, I have to discard down now? Yeah. Right now, you're discard. That sucks. Okay, so I'm going to discard that one. Well, and... crap. <laughs> and I'm going to He's discard... gunning for you. Well, it kind of makes sense, though, because you're like a janitor just hulking out on him, so he would be And I'm going to discard about that. that one. <clears throat> you know what? No. I'm going to discard both of those because... Okay, okay. so... Okay, I'm going to have to... Now we can go? Now we can go. All right, so I'm going to move one, two, three, and I'll be on here for next time. I can okay. fix that. Um, so this is when I use the action of the fighter character card, not like a different thingy. That's okay. Yeah, specifically your, your character card. That's correct. That's actually not as bad as that was. It's not yeah. just an action. Yeah, I mean, it's bad when I'm in Blanca mode. You <laughs> in block him out, yes. 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 He's got so much defense. Okay, I'm going to play Clock Out. Okay. Ooh, the upgrade version. 
Transform, attack with three dice, then discard three defense. No, I'm not transformed. Oh, you're not transformed. Attack with three dice, and you may move up to four spaces. Oh. Okay, okay. Or I can attack with two dice. Nope, attack with three dice. So that's my card. Oh, wait, hold on. I forgot a whole bunch of start of turn stuff. <laughs> okay. Hold on. So I'm Hold starting. On. I'm starting on my human side. So there's a lot that happens. Uh, I choose a fighter to draw a card and move up to two spaces. Uh, do you want to draw a card? Because I can only have up to four. Um, I can't. I don't want to move because I actually want to heal. That's fine. You. I'll can, draw a card. Though. You can move and move back. You're still in in position. So draw a card. Okay. Okay. Um, each fighter gains a power. Okay. Is another ability. And then I gain a random defense token, which is a punch. Okay, now I'm gonna play my attack, clock out, swinging broom attack. Okay. Uh, three dice. <coughs> he has a lot, oh well, he has three kick defense. So I really want some crits here. There's uh, one crit. One quit. Crit. A quit. A quit. <laughs> Alright, well I got rid of his defense. And gain one kick defense. I gain a kick. Yep. Shucks. Um <clears throat> yeah. I may move up to four. I don't think I'm gonna move because I'm gonna Where should I move? Um, it's up to you. If you stand on that one, I think he's gonna head towards this space instead. But I don't know. Are if you gonna to try to cut him off then? I can't cut him off. He's gonna he can move through characters if he needs to. So my guy's just there just so I can attack him. I'll just hang out because he's gonna be distracted by that shadow for a second or no? Does he ignore that? Um he's gonna attack both of us, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna stay there because I'll flip that thing over. Okay. Well I might move stuff, I'm just not gonna move. Instead I'm gonna heal. I'm gonna heal some damage. Um, so brings me up to oh, actually, I may... uh, oops, I got that wrong. I do have one one hit left. Okay. I have an action. Should I do my keeping it cool action? If you do, but this is gonna trigger. How do I right. get rid of her? You have to dis. You have to uh, shuffle your, your deck. Then he's gonna attack. That's fine. Yeah. I'm gonna do that. Uh, you and each fighter within three. So just me. Well, if you wait, I can get next to you potentially. Oh, okay. So do your stuff. I'll be patient. Okay. <clears throat> so how about I do my? Hmm. Oh, interesting. I just realized this tactic is not unique. So I can have mul multiple in play. But I don't think it makes sense. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Oh, I can swap places. Ooh. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one with the dark. For each illusion, choose one to resolve. So the first one I'm going to do is I want to swap with this illusion here. So that way I can next to you. And then each of the other ones, I'm going to move the illusions... Three, well, I'll move this illusion. Um, move this out of the way. Move this illusion closer. And then this one, I might just discard to let a fighter draw a card or and gain two defense tokens. Do you want to draw a card and gain two defense tokens? Um, if I do that, I won't do my action. So that would save me from going through my deck faster. Yeah, yeah okay. go, ahead, go ahead. So draw a card <clears throat> and gain two random defense tokens? Yep. Grapple and a kick. Oh, I do I do one direct damage to the boss man when I swapped. I forgot about that. Oh, good. So that's good. So he is officially at half health. Woo! Made it. <laughs> okay. So I have a thought. What's your thought? I could have moved to that pill to heal. Do I want to do that? And then we just... Well, you haven't done your action yet, right? I haven't. So you, your action could be to remove that. 
You're on it. Might as well. Yeah, so do that action and then still have done the move to the pill. You could have, actually, yes. Okay. I'm going to wreck on that. Wreck on that? Yep. So this is gone. Is on his card or over here. We have to add two more damage. Can you do that? Yeah, two more damage on the survivors, which is the downside to that. So they are officially at 10 health. Okay, but move me to the pill. <clears throat> so now you're on the pill. So I'm going to all heal then. Okay. okay, and then this crosshairs card won't... Correct. Yeah, okay. Correct. So I did my card step. I didn't... I skipped my move step. I have an action step. My action... I'm going to do my uber attack. So I'm going to have all my illusion... Actually, first, let's do this. Let's move this illusion. No. Okay. Oh, OBS crashed. OBS lost connection came back. So okay. hopefully you guys are still seeing this. Let me know if there's any issues. It might kick off and kick back on real quick. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll move that, gain some defense tokens. And then I'm going to attack with two dice against all targets I'm engaged with. So attack this guy first. Uh, that's going to be three, and I gained the defense tokens he took. That's two. So he's taking one damage? He's taking one, yep. He's down to half health. Okay. And I'll attack again with the other guy. Probably won't be able to take him out, but that's okay. Two more damage on him. Okay. And then boss man. You going to hit him? I'm going to hit him with just two dice. Okay. What type of attack? It's general, so it's gonna he's gonna block it. Um, and then I'll use I have a flashbang. I'll discard a flashbang to get two more defense off him. Still good. <clears throat> okay. And then I'm going to now have each illusion attack with this card with two dice. Okay. So I'm attack that purple guy again. Okay. Two more he's against dead. him. Sweet. Now, since he died, though, doesn't this something happen? Oh, yeah. Boss man's going to get three defense tokens. <laughs> so, That's okay. I, we need to get rid of that card. I don't know how we can do that. Yeah, I, I don't think we can get rid of it. Just every time we take out a bad guy, he's going to get some defense. So he's going to get uh, one of everything, looks like. Okay. I get a loot. Get some power. Might as well spend it right now. Get some power. I don't think it makes a difference. Or actually, you know what? Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll use it right now. It's fine. <clears throat> okay. So that was all I can do. <laughs> I'm doing really damage to him. I, um, I like this game a lot because I used to only play with Megan because she, like, I learned her first and. I'm a simpleton most of the time when it comes to games. I let Steve really just explain things um, if if it gets a little crazy, but um, particularly because there's so many steps in this game in terms of like you have your events and then all this other stuff happens over here. Um, I just let Steve say what's going on. But since he takes the reins on that, I like it a lot because it's easier for me to follow that way. Um, and then all the characters are very different. Um, very different. So like Megan, I got so used to, but then somebody on our discord was like hey be this person be jack yeah and uh that was awesome um and now today it's um this murphy guy and he's cool so it's it's so it plays differently and then all the events are different so i do really like this game i love this game honestly this is probably a top five game of all time for me i'm not sure where exactly wow. it fits in top five but wow. something about it it's it's fun that like you got this feeling of progression like, where you can build up to these fun attacks like I mean, I took out like three guys in you one did. round. Well, and the other thing too is it's it is a very good cooperative game. Like it is. you and I are playing off each other Correct. particularly well with these two characters. Um, so again, Varega, great suggestion on the character selection. Um, so but, yeah, it's a it's a good game. But yeah, I highly recommend it. This is really good. This is so this is part of the Blacklist uh, modular deck system series, and this was the first one they made. And I haven't played all of the modular deck systems. Well, I take that back. I've ta I played all of them that have been released, and this one is by far my favorite. That's because it's a easy to set up. You put one board down, put bad guys on there, and they keep swarming and coming. I don't know. It's 
I feel like whenever I play this game, I think of like cinematic movie moments, and that's what sells well, it for me. And we talked about that in our, our review of uh, uh-huh. Recommandos, is you you are so imaginative. So, right. but yeah, it's it's cool. But thanks for the question, Pop. Um, where are we at? Oh, so your question here. Um, oh, that might not appear very well. Let me see if we can fix that real quick. Um, so would it be good for just the base games? Your question. Um, definitely. Definitely would be good for just the base game. Uh, there is, like I said, there's a mo- modular deck system. So how it works is you pick a stage, you pick a boss guy, you pick the fighters you want, and you can mix and match those combinations. So there's a ton of variety in that and ton to explore. And I I think I like some of the, the other fighters better because they, they got a little more interesting abilities. But honestly, the base game is great. I would definitely recommend it. Oh! There was a campaign relatively recent on Indiegogo. Um, Enter the Dragon or something. Something with Dragon. I don't remember the name of the game. But the nice thing about it, it was a another standalone version of the game. So you can get the core set, but you can also get this one. Um, you might be able to jump on it later. But yeah, yeah. You're totally welcome for the answers. And if you have other questions, you want to jump, on, jump in on any strategies as we're playing, feel free to. Um, yeah, like I said, I love this game. I always, we'll always play it. I know. I don't recall though. Like the base set had. I know Megan was in the base set. Megan was base set. There was. And then six fighters. Six maybe? fighters and how many events? Stages. I Stages, don't remember. Yeah. Four, five, and then another four, five. I don't know. I don't remember exactly what was in the base set, but yeah, because um, I think you just like went. <laughs> neck deep to start. So, so disclaimer, <laughs> um, Colin. On uh, one stop coffee shop as well, um, he bought this game and he just went all in. He went bought everything for it and he played it. And admittedly, he didn't like it as much, mostly because he didn't care for the theme. Uh, but I loved it, and so um, yeah, he gave it to me. And then since then, I've been hooked on it. Yeah. So so I don't remember what it was for just the base set, but because um, I had everything at that point but yeah it is i let's just say i had the app there's an app out there too you can buy the app and play that as well um and it's very very good implementation yeah that i think the app would be a good trial definitely run for sure definitely um i will say though if i had to be the one to set up the game and read the rules although this is me i don't read rules (laughs) like i don't no steve you as you are the the guy so that's that's the thing this one's it gets more confusing because then there's this one and um what's that other the Monster one. Monster one? The game that's like this but simpler. <laughs> simpler. You're thinking Alter Quest. The Alter Quest. One. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So Alter Quest, like that game, I could set up and actually do because it's simpler. And this one just throws a lot more at you. But anyway. There's a there's a lot of like cards to check. Like, okay, now this card, and then this card, and then this yeah. card. But like the thing that works well is you kind of put the cards in a row and you you execute them from the old cards and the newest cards. So honestly, I just glance down the line quickly and do all the cards to say activate. So yeah, it takes a little bit, but once you do a few times, it goes by pretty, pretty yeah. fast. Like you see now, like I'm skipping ahead because okay, dun 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 dun. We've, yeah. we've done that a few times. And we now I've totally on. forgotten where we are. So what are we doing? <laughs> I think, <laughs> I think we're done with we all went, our turns. We're we're ready to tangent. activate the enemies. But yeah, okay. um, was a pocket power. If you've got other questions, let us know. If you have strategy things you want to see or things we see close up, let us know. We're here to hang out and have fun. Pocket pair. Pocket pair. Pocket pair. Pair. That, that's an clever. E. Yeah. I got it. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, thanks again. See, I read the rules, but I'm not good at reading and speaking in general. No, you <laughs> so... watch any play, and I I just don't even bother correcting him. Don't, don't pronounce anything. You're just worse <laughs> at pronouncing fine. things. <laughs> it's really bad. So. Yeah. All right. So okay. bad guy's attacking. Bad guy's attacking. You're, you're going to get attacked. Um. Yes, from this person. So she's going to attack each fighter within two spaces, which is none of them, actually. So and... she's just going to run... She's Advance three spaces towards the nearest. Yep. So she's gonna go one, two, three next to this. Um, Why wouldn't shadow. she go right here and have both of them? Oh, she would. You're right. You are right. <laughs> <laughs> so. So all right, and then uh, big bad. Oh, was this poker name? Poker name. Pocket pair. Pocket pair. A poker name. Oh yeah. Do you know what that reference to? Don't you have a pair in your, like it's like you're dead drawing the pair. Like in the pocket, like oh. So clearly, I don't do. <laughs> is is that what is that what it's about? Yeah. I'm curious. Let us know. You got, that... you got a pair. In, it's like boom. It's right there. In your pocket. Oh, not cheating. 
Okay, we're gonna keep going, and he can just be like, "You guys are idiots." <laughs> Apparently, I need to play more poker, <laughs> so yes. you might need to educate us. Yeah. So. Now, every time I go to Vegas, I don't go to like the real tables. It's like, oh, I can play roulette. <laughs> you know, it's like okay. <laughs> Anytime I, I haven't been to Vegas in how long? <laughs> No. Okay, so they move there. Um, cool, draw cards. Oh, wait, thank you. Okay, now... I'd stay away from me. <laughs> this card looks crazy. Let me show them. Yeah. Pocket pair goes two fives or two aces. Yeah. Two fives or two aces, etc. Yeah. Yeah. See? Oh, it's you were cards. right. Kind of. I, I, I think so, if you're describing it Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm with you. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> just slaying pocket aces for example oh yeah. okay okay i got you i got you cool man cool thanks for uh, explaining that for us yes well educated. i need to be educated i guess kim knew what it was already so i'll give yeah. her props there mm -hmm. so uh basically, yeah basically a pun yeah, yeah i got it nice nice cool cool man All right, uh, so okay oops why'd you take that card from me and why is it not showing up properly on the screen? Oh, I screwed something up. I will oh, fix you that. you clicked too many buttons. I clicked too many buttons. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, but I the know. big bad guy still has to attack you. So I resized the window. Or did why. he already attack you? I think you skipped that. No, we haven't done the big bad attacking. You just got to do that now. Oh. So he is going to attack each fighter engaged with him, which is just me. So he's attacking me with four dice. Okay. So it's gonna attack with a bunch of stuff, and, and I've you're got, fine. Yeah, I've done. <laughs> well, I'll I, be surprised if I take damage at this game. I need like a little handheld camera just to go down <laughs> to this stack of defense. You, I can't even. I ideally, I would like to have more more cameras in this setup as we're like building up for the streaming stuff, to, so you can see our player areas too. But as it stands now, and then I'd I'd come in like, hey, <laughs> <laughs> that was not creepy with the eye poking in. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, okay. And then he gains three random defense tokens because he apparently needs more defense. Uh, two punches and a grapple. Oh man, he has a lot. Yeah. Uh, it's just all his defense, but if we can. As long as you don't do grapple attacks. I do oh. general attacks, so that's the problem. Like, I. I think it's gonna be up to you to take him out because my all my shadows do like general damage and how it works in this game. Is general damage gets blocked by every type of defense. Otherwise, if you do like a punch attack, it punch defense blocks it. When there's no more punch defense, then it becomes damage straight to them. And direct damage goes can't be blocked by any type of defense, it goes directly to them. <sighs> so basically what it means is all my shadows have to go through all their defense. Yes. While Kim can punch a hole in their defense and then hit him hard. Yes, I have to discard one of my cards <clears throat> because I can't have more than four. Yeah, that's but, correct. Um also, okay. Speak, discard that tactic. Speaking of which, he is going to attack you. Why? With two general damage. Why? Oh, because I'm not engaged with yeah. you. Yeah. So do you block with anything? I shall do that. Okay. Double and then block. any fire dealt damage this way discards two cards. So I blocked it, so I'm not discarding cards. Okay. And two, that is all he does. So now we're onto the stage. Seven. He is going to move three closest to. Oh, you know what? He'll just back right up. He is going back right up. When do I heal on my pill? Uh, whenever you move, you do your move action and you don't move, or oh, you, you do less move, okay. or you do not as much move. So he's going to drop uh, explosives down again, and then. And Each fighter may move up to three damage from the injured survivors. I don't know. I think Actually, I'll, you know what? I'll I do think... it. I'll do it. Oh, okay. Because I I only have one one damage, so I'll take all th three of it. Okay. So that's going to knock me down a little bit. So You're fine. I am fine. Okay. And then that's it. Oh, wait. Almost it. We have the event card. We have critical moments. Each fighter must either deal injured survivors three damage or move the boss one space towards the nearest objective space without an objective token. Eh. I mean, he can move one and then... He can move two, honestly, because he can move, like, right here. He's not... He's right next to me. Okay. Right? Oh, yeah. well. Two. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. So, he's running around dropping bombs. Dropping bombs. Okay. Okay.
So yeah. now we're at the start of our turns. I get to put a shadow token down. I'll put him right next to boss man. And we did get to draw some cards. So first card is you get a Veronica Pepper, a green one, and I get a blue a bolo guy. Alright, so she can appear. And he's gonna get some here. defense tokens. Looks like he's getting all kicks. So for my guy, I need three kicks. And he this is gonna appear. Where's the next closest? There, maybe? Yeah, I need three kick tokens for him, if you don't mind. Okay. Okay. Spawn guys, I drop my shadow token down. You have start of turn stuff. You do have start I of do turn. have start of turn stuff, but I gotta put defense tokens on this Veronica chick. Okay. Yeah, that's the other thing about this game is you do have a lot of defense tokens you put on, you confirm the power, you discard power. So there's a lot of token management in this game. I a lot of people can find it fiddly. I I don't mind it as much because it goes by pretty fast and honestly it adds a lot of strategy, like I said before. You can actually make holes into into how you attack people like oh i attack this style so if someone can get rid of this defense there's an opening in which i can lay, lay down some some punches on it for example yep. so okay so start a turn i am a human human um so choose a fighter to draw a card and move up to two spaces choose uh, yourself i'm gonna have to discard that's fine but you can be next to the guy right well then don't I'm not, you be I'm next to healing Oh, that's true. That's true. I mean, I'll... we don't have to do it. I mean, I could do it, I guess. If you want me to. You could go stand on the blue thing and block him. Yeah, but I want to attack him too, though. Oh. I'll just move one space. Okay. So. You can draw a card. Okay. Uh, each of us gains a power. Okay, I need more power. Clearly. <laughs> I have so much power, And guys. then I'm going to gain a random defense token. So I will get a punch. Not that one. And that's that's my starter turn stuff. Okay. Okay. I don't know what I need to do. Should I not bother healing and just go attack him? He's getting a lot of defense. We need to... So the problem is, every time I kill a minion, he is going to gain more defense. But the problem is... I don't know. Oh, wait, I had to discard a card from my deck. I'm sorry. Can I skip that step? Yeah. I don't we can't get rid of that card. Like I can't get rid of this crosshairs card. So I think it's just gonna get progressively worse. I think so. And I should just go after him and just try not to die. I, I think so. Um And I think that's what I need to help with as well. I mean you can use your shadows to keep the minions busy. Uh, I guess, but if oh, but you... Although you're right, it'd be better to like, just stack on the mid right, guy. Right, right. So I think I'm going to help do that. I'm going to play this card. This is my first card here, Dark Reach. Attack with two dice. After and There's a grapple attack. Unfortunately, it's got a lot of grapple defense, but it's fine. Hmm. After the attack, you may discard one illusion from the... Actually, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do something else first. Here we go. To this one. Each illusion is going to attack with two red dice. I gain the defense that you block with. So let's attack the purple person. Uh, right down here. So, here we go. There's a crit. That's good. Another crit. Very that's nice. really good. Okay, so that's so four. four. Uh, I take all of that and I get one more defense. How okay. much damage is she going to take? She's going to take one. just one. But I have another one next to her. So he will also attack. Oh, nice. All the crits are coming. Wow. Crit, 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 crit! Oh! And she's dead. She's so dead. <laughs> she's very dead. <laughs> yes. She's very dead. But he's going to get more <laughs> defense. I know. I get loot, and I get... Oh, cocktail. Sweet. Set him on fire. Yeah, that's it. Well, i got to be careful, because the damage is... So real quick, just so everyone can see it. Um, it you choose a space within three spaces of me. Each figure in or adjacent to that takes three general damage. Which would be good, because it would set me off. Let me go over there. Okay, phrasing. Sorry. Sorry. Let me go phrasing. over there. 
Let me go over there, then throw a cocktail, and I will transform. I got a lot of things. That's kind of a weird way of doing it, though. Like, hey, Hulk, stand there and let you on fire. Yeah, Rawr! yeah, it makes sense. So do his defense. He gets three defense because you killed a guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. Well, it looks yeah. like one of everything. One of everything. Yep. But I think that would work because I, I think I'm just going to forget the healing okay. and just go over there. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to play... Now I'm going to play this card. So attack with two red dice. Oh, actually. Yeah. I can give you defense tokens too instead. No, attack. I have a little bit of defense. Well, I can I can do both. Because here's my problem. My problem is these shadow tokens are so far away. They're not very useful. Yeah. So I was going to try to discard them so I can play them closer rather than try to move them all the way over there. Okay. So what I can do is I could discard one of them and attack a little bit stronger, or I can attack a little bit weaker but get rid of both of them and help you. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'll play this one. So for each illusion, I get to choose some options. I'm going to have illusion attack with one dice, but it deals direct damage. So let's do that first, and I'm going to choose this guy up here. Okay. So one die. One crit. Okay, go straight through them. That is five. And that is ten. So he's down to 24. And then the other mm, ones, I'm... Really? Because he's down... We're off. Yeah. I think this is... I think my counter on screen's right. Okay, because I think I was right. So you were? <laughs> I thought so. Because he was just... just at half health recently. Yeah. Did I miss something? I thought you may have missed something. Maybe. All right. I'll believe you. We'll make it harder. Wait, wait. What, what do you think he's at? Let me ask you that question. Right now, I, I have him wounded 20, so he's down to 30. He, I have him below that. Okay. Yeah, you missed some attacks. I must have missed it. All yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's at 24. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to discard two of those illusions to let a fire draw a card and gain two random defense tokens. Um, I don't need... I can do it, but I don't really need a defense token, so I'm thinking you should do it. I do want defense. Even though you discard the cards. I think it's worth it. Okay, so what am I doing? Draw two cards, discard two cards, and gain four random defense tokens. Draw two, discard two, <laughs> and gain four random. I'm going to yep. gain the four randoms. Okay, two grapplies. Okay, while you do that, I'm going to do my Punch. I'm going to do my Lightsbane. It's going to exhaust to, move, to basically gain a defense token from a guy adjacent to them. So let's go ahead and do that on the boss man. And you attack with what? Punches, mostly? Well, hold on. i got to figure out which cards I'm going to discard. Well, I'm going to take the punch anyway. It's fine. Okay, and then I'm going to have each illusion attack dealing general damage. Okay, here we go. That illusion is going to attack the boss man for two. Okay. okay. Discard this one. And then I'm going to do my action to have each illusion attack. Yeah, and I'm going to attack two for two. It's my last action. Do as much as I can. Here we go. I'm attacking. Look at that crit. Crit, crit. Three. Unfortunately, it's general damage. So it's going to block it all. But I'm opening up a hole for Kim, hopefully. Mm hmm. I'm thinking. And then the other, the illusion is also going to attack. He only does one, unfortunately. Okay. But I've done all my actions. <laughs> I'm going I didn't move. To... But yeah, I think I'm I think I'm basically done. I don't have much else. To... I have a cocktail I can throw. It's the only other other thing I could do. But I got a kick I got a kick window open for you if you want to do a kick. Hold on. I still have to discard one more card. And should I discard the toxic relationship? That's my healing. Or the human attack card. Human attack. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to move towards him. 
because you're gonna have to move away and throw the cocktail to make me angry. So put me next to him. Okay. One, two, three. You mean move away? You need to move away. Well, I'm not gonna hit you if you're right there. Because I can throw the cocktail right here and it won't hit anything. So I'll stay there. Is it just in one spot that you throw the cocktail? One spot and all adjacent spots. And adjacent damage. spots. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So oh. we're fine right there. Yeah, so I t I, the funny thing is I have to target you, technically. Yeah. But yeah, it does hit totally the bad guy. Fine. See, so, cooperation. <laughs> we'll discard that. <laughs> okay, so I'm not. don't do that yet because I think I Why? can still do a card. Okay, okay. Attack in. He has no kicks. <laughs> right. So I could. Hmm. I don't want you to attack because I can take out take out some of his deepest tokens first and give you an opening. And that's what I've been doing my shadow guy. Try and provide that opening for you can Okay, well on him. I'll play this ability card first. You and each fighter within three spaces can heal three damage. Whoa. Okay. Let me show what it is real quick. Yep. So this is the card Kim's playing. So that's my card step. Nice. So that is going to be. We're both at one damage. Yep. Well done. Teamwork, making the dream work. <laughs> All right. Um, and then so I'm saving my action because I want to get into Blanca mode and then I can attack. So now I this. throw the cocktail to hit you. Yes. Okay. Okay. So let me think about this. So and boss man. You and the boss man are, or me and the boss man. So I'm going to. Is it just one damage? Three damage. Three damage. So I'm going to go one. Is it direct? Uh, general. General. One, two. So you three, can block it four, with anything. Five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to block two of them and take one, <laughs> which makes me angry enough to flip over. <laughs> and then that means. You swap your character for you? Yes. Look at that. Hulk out. I can flip to the transform side. If I do, I have to discard all my power and deal one general damage to an enemy engaged with you for each power discarded. I have maxed that out to 10. Whoa. So 10 minus his, how much does he have? Four. So, so he takes six damage. Six damage. Whoa. One, two, three, four, five, six. 18 health. He has no defense. He's open. I'm gonna get him. Good teamwork so far. And I still have an action. You still have your action, yes. Yeah, which I'm going to do my vandalize super attack thing. Um, which, I'm not going to forget this time, my transformed tactics gives me a punch, a grapple, and a kick on top of my three dice. That I'm so what I'm going to do, because he doesn't have defense, I'm going to give him three damage right now. Okay, so then that's done. So that's done. So you don't have to remember that. So one, two, three. So now whatever you roll is going to be on top of this. Okay. Which is three more. Three more. Nice, nice, nice. Nice job. Okay. Um, then discard any number of power to heal one damage for each power discarded, and then flip the card back over. So, there we go. <laughs> Just briefly hulked out. Briefly hulked out. out <laughs> my, get my guy back here. But I think that was a really good collaboration. I like that, that the theme's like, here, catch this! <laughs> <laughs> Just Destroy everything and then come back. Calm fire. down. <laughs> you just got angry with it when you're on fire and then you calm down. Yeah, yeah. So. I like that move. That was a good play. I like it. That I've never decided to throw a cocktail at someone before, but it hey, it works. It's team. It works. Teamwork. All, All right. right. So I think we're done with our stuff. Is that correct? Yes. You don't. You don't have to move. If you wanted to move, you I could. could move. I don't know if it makes sense for me to move. No, because are you kind of because he's him? going to go here anyway. Oh, he jumps over. Stuff. Yeah, he's gonna move okay. through it unless you need me to move out of the way, which maybe that makes sense. Maybe I need to move out of the way a little bit, like here. You're gonna get that green woman and. It's going to get on top. That's fine. Come at me. Phrasing. Come at me, bro. Phrasing. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, speaking of which, let's activate the bad guys. Do we draw our cards? I always forget when we do that. Uh, technically, we do it after we activate bad guys. Okay. So, let's do that first, just in case. So, we have two bad guys out. So, the Veronica, the green Veronica is going to move three spaces okay. and then attack. One, two. Attack me with four dice. Four dice. Okay. Um, I can block all of it. Of course you can. <laughs> so, okay. And then... Is that all she does? That's it. Okay. And the blue guy, he is going to vent three spaces. Um, 
If he's unengaged, he's going to gain one defense token. One, two, three. So he's going to get one defense token, which is a punch. punch. Okay. Okay. So that's it for that. that. We draw our cards, and then we're on to bad guy turn. I'll draw my card. I'm almost... I got one more, and then I have to shuffle my deck. Okay. Might Hulk out again. No, I can't. I don't have any... Uh, I got to build those up. Oh. Well, he's going to attack you, is the thing, when you shuffle. Okay, so oh, first, okay. first things first. Um, yeah, he's going to attack each fighter engaged with him, which is Me. just you. So he's going to attack you with the four dice. Okay. So here he goes. Looks like it's uh, two punches and a kick and a grapple. I'm going to block all of that. Okay. And then he gains three random defense tokens. So he's going to gain two kicks and a punch. And then he is going to attack me with two general damage, which I'll block. And then... <clears throat> that's it for him. Yes, that's it for him. So now he is going to want to move towards the nearest spot. So one, two. He drops he it. drops out another one down. So we have only two more to drop and we lose the game. That's all right. Still doing okay. The health, they're at 13 health, so I think we're doing okay. And then each fighter may move up to three damage. Um, I'll, I'll do so. I'll take it. Okay. So one, two, three, especially since you just healed me. You're welcome. I could do that again also, by the way. Yeah, totally. Actually, you can take some of it too. You can take one. No. You can play that card again. You can take it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just take it. Okay. Well, actually, that's smart. I should take just one. <laughs> I'm going to take one of those from you. Okay. So you're taking one damage. Okay. I took it from you. Why did That's you fine. I want to take three damage. Did you just put three damage down? Yes. You, I want to take three damage. You took it from my damage spot, but each person can take three damage. Is how oh, it works. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. So I want to make sure I took three damage. Because now the nice thing is the survivor's at 17 health, so three away from max health for them, huh? which is good. Okay, here we go. We get critical moments. Each fire must either deal injured survivors three damage or move the boss one space towards a nearest objective space without one. Um, so I he's going to move I over think here. One one. You want him to move one space? Um... You can move one space. One space, because then I can still reach him. Okay, let's do that, and then we'll deal the damage three. Yeah, three yeah, So if he moves here, because <laughs> then I could still go one, two, three, and then yeah. one of us could give her that blue thing. Uh, Potentially, yes. Yeah. Depending on what we want to do. Okay, that's it for our turns. Ready up. I get to drop a shadow token down for free. Let's drop it right there. And we get some cards. Hot lead, and I get a Felicia Salt, which has three punch tokens. Hot lead says each fighter may discard any number of cards from their hand. Then Mac deals each fighter two direct damage for each card in that fighter's hand. Oh my goodness. I need to do something really bad first. Well, right now we're going to resolve this. Okay, this... because I didn't finish this crosshair action. What, is it? what do you mean? Um... Each time you use the action of your fighter character card, which I did last turn. Oh, you did last turn, yeah. I must discard one card from my deck for each defense token that I have. So oh. my deck is now depleted. Then you have to shuffle it. So then I have to shuffle the deck. And you would then discard this and card. And this card goes away. Yeah. But when we shuffle the deck, something else happens. That's correct. Okay, so pause while well, Kim forgot to do that. <laughs> yes, so, let me... Uh, she's me So Mac is going to attack you... For four dice plus two direct damage. So let's set these cards aside for a second. Yeah, well, I'll fix, me, fix this <clears throat> little whoopsie. Okay. Here he comes. He's going to attack you with three kicks and a grapple. Okay. <coughs> I'm going to do two kick blocks and a grapple block. So yep. I get one damage. Well, and two direct damage. So you take two more on top of that. Okay. You have to take two That's more. That's okay. 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 So now we can continue. Okay. So now we keep going. So now Hot Lead and Felicia Salt. So Felicia's come to me. And she is... Do I want to flip back over with that? No, there's nobody... You're too far away. Yeah, I wouldn't. 
Okay, so she's going to come to play right here. Okay, and then Hotlet says each fighter may discard any number of cards from their hand. Then he deals two... Each fighter two direct damage for each card in that fighter's hand. That is... That's that horrible. Rough. That is horrible. So... I have a lot of cards in my hand. Two direct damage. I don't even take a lot of damage if I don't discard. Because I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have seven cards. <laughs> yeah, you also have like 30 defense. But it's direct damage. I can't block any of this. Oh. Well, that's yeah. dumb. Yeah, so every card in your hand, you're going to take damage. So I, I'm going to dump gonna my hand. I'm going to discard that one. It's two for each card in your hand? Yep. Dear Lord. Yeah, I know. That's a lot. <laughs> Well, I'm going to discard everything but one card <laughs> and take two damage. Oh, so man. I have two, four, six, eight damage. I'm down to seven health. You can okay, I'm going to discard all those. I'm going to just keep one card in my hand. So you are have, down to I've what? Seven health. You have seven health now? Yes. Okay. But I, I kept I'm my... I'm taking two damage myself. I kept my toxic relationship card, so I can heal us. Good choice. Which mostly benefits you, because I took two damage to keep <laughs> it. Know, That's how much I care about you, Steve. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay, so that... Yeah, he's coming back with some force. But... Maybe we're okay? <laughs> that was full of confidence. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so our turns. Um... Okay. Let me... Are you within three of me? Uh, One, two... I'm not. Okay. I could move. I'm, I'm going to move. I can move if you want me to. Um, no. Start of turn, human stuff. Hold on. Choose a fighter to draw a card and move up to two spaces. I'm going to do that. So I'm drawing a card. Okay, me and two. move me two. The next one? Right there? Um, yeah. Here? It doesn't really matter, I guess, because I can't get on top of that thingamabob. Mm, I can, if you want me okay. to. Yeah, there is fine. And I drew a card. Okay. Uh, start of your turn, each fighter gains a power. Okay. And then I gain a random defense token. Grapple. Okay. Now, I'm going to play... Hmm. I want to go first because I'm going to move this illusion here and then gain one defense token from each enemy engaged with an illusion. So I'm going to gain a defense from her and the main thing I want to do is gain defense from boss man. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> trying to think if there's a way... I'm going to now attack my illusions on boss man. Okay. So I can get rid of all his defense. So you can wail on him. There's two. So I gain his defense. And then my other illusions going to attack. Two damage to him. The boss man is down to ten. Yes. Ten. Okay. So, so I have not still... played. <laughs> I'm not keeping up with your buttons. That's okay. I got him. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to play my card. This card, my Duskfall. Attack with two dice, but before attacking to swap, which gives me another so dice, so I'm going to definitely do that. I'm going to so, loop, two, three, pee over here. Five. Surprise! I'm like, peering behind him. And I got three dice for this attack, and it's a kick attack, but it doesn't matter. Here we go. Okay, looks like you got two more, two more damage on him. So he is down to eight. Okay. And now I have an action. I'm, me and all the illusions are going to attack him for two dice each. Okay. We, I think we got him. There's two more to him. Um, another illusion is going to attack. One more to him. And then I'm going to attack. Two more to him. And that is basically all I can do. Okay, hold on. Two, four, six, eight, ten. OK. 
Can you do three damage to him? He has no defense. Unfortunately, I only... If I roll a crit, I can. No! If I roll a crit, potentially. It's going to be so close, Steve. I got to try it. How come you can't do Because I'm on my human form. Oh. I wonder if I can faint. And there's nothing in here that will let me hurt myself. I can faint for two direct damage. Okay, let me play this attack card first. <laughs> so, you can do one damage. I can faint and get him. All right, am I next to him? I'm next to him. I'm going to play um, Losing Grip. Okay. Discard so, one defense from each enemy within three spaces, which is just going to be the green person. Yeah, you attack with two dice. That's yeah. fine. That'll do it. If I hit... As long as you roll one hit. As you just as... have to roll one hit. <laughs> if you do your faint thing, right? No. I'll do my faint thing if you hit him once. Crit! I'm going to do it myself. <laughs> oh, oh two, right. two damage. That's two damage. Okay. And uh, I get two grapple defense, but not that it matters. And now... So now what I'm going to do is I've got this card. He has, what, three damage left? Uh, he's got one health left. Oh, one. Yeah. So this card says faint, attack X, doing direct damage. X equals the number of illusions on the map. So faint means I discard this from play, which I'll do so. And I get to do two direct damage to him, which... Boom! Get Down. some. Victory! Okay. We did do it. We made it. We made it through to the end. But yeah, that one, man. I love this game. Every time I play it. That was a good play. I really like the the teamwork of these two guys. It worked pretty well. And I, I was really worried because I know for Shadow, he needs some healing. But you actually have healing. Yes, I was helpful. Which was very helpful. <laughs> So I was able to kind of mess with the people with the sh illusions while you just hulked out on the boss guy. Yeah. And the other thing is, too, because I can't do a lot of directed damage. I just do general damage to my illusions. But you were mm -hmm. able to directly hit him with a bunch of different mm -hmm. ways. So. I think my favorite part was when you threw the cocktail at me. <laughs> that um, was the highlight. Definitely that was the highlight. my favorite part. <laughs> So, but yeah, there's a win. Thanks, guys, for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed it. I will always, always, always play this game. Huge fan of it. And we have some more content coming this week. I think we have uh, Gloomhaven and... What was the other thing I'm going to play? I forget. Oh, um, uh, Big Trouble in Little China as well. That's going to be Saturday. So tune in on this channel to watch that Saturday yeah. night. And then what are we doing now that we finished the Pandemic play? Yeah, so we did finish Pandemic Pandemic Legacy Season 2 on the Twitch channel. Um, that was the last of doing that live stuff on Twitch. But honestly, I think next week we should review it on the YouTube channel. Okay. So we'll review it. And I think we should start another campaign or some other game we can keep going for a while. I don't know what it is. If you guys are watching, you have suggestions for us, Join our Discord, hop on there. There's a YouTube stream chat, jump in there, or reach out to either myself or, or Kim. She's on there too, and just uh, talk to us, and we can plan plan some stuff out. But yeah, I had a lot of fun with this one. I'm yeah. glad, glad it worked out. Hope you enjoyed watching, and uh, we'll see you at the next stop. Bye, everyone. Bye.